All right, <laughs> start out with it. Okay, and then this house is vacant. We rented it for the holiday. We. Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome to the Saturday Stream Extravaganza. How's everyone doing? Good. Thank you for joining us. Nice and uh, awesome. We got a Silver Life and Cali Jose with here on the panel. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Drinking some Capri Suns, you know, and enjoying the stream and awesome. gonna hang out with some good people. You see Ozzy in here, West Coast Collectibles. Everybody's in. Yeah. Happy. Everybody. Jeff Crumpler, <laughs> Life with Ron, Silver Ridge. Did, did you read? You got to put John S. up on there. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I missed him. What's up, Vaders and Ozzy? John F. John Farkas. Yeah. Oh. John Fark? No, Jeff Crumpler. Reporting oh, Roseanne. Reporting Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> harassment. Roseanne, <laughs> how you doing, Vaders? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Hi, Silver Ridge. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Well, this is a little experiment. This will be pretty fun. I guess we'll start out like, just hanging out and saying hi to everybody. And uh, yeah. Yeah. What's up, DJ? <laughs> Maria S. Maria, hello. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Go random. You just got dab. <laughs> What's up, and DJ I'll... Numismatics? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be Hello. periodically be uh, be entering the link in the chat for both these channels. So you want to head over here to the West Coast Collectible ones if you want to uh, participate or head up on the panel while we watch this. Or, uh, yeah, I need to make some mods on here, too. So that'd be cool, too. And, uh, yeah, so when I post the link every now and then, be sure to follow it, possibly, and uh, just interact in the West Coast Collectibles channel. That makes sense. That's nice. Collectible. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm not seeing people's chat because I'm I'm on the West Coast Collectible. Yeah. It's, uh, it's in both know. of them right now. That's hey. there's 18 total, but nine in here and nine in the other. Guess what just happened on uh, Silver Seekers channel? What? 33 silvers. Now you know how he's always got a couple of hundred people on there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, he just found. One of my signature half dollars. <laughs> one of the two pop coins uh, in one of his nice. Roles. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's a way to plug your channel. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Silver Seeker, I for finding that. Love it. <laughs> hey Nudge, where is where is Silver Seeker located? Hello, Maria. Um, he is located in I forgot. I know it's not in, in California, right? No, oh, it's um. I forgot to land. I forgot. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Dan Wade. Free advertising. Yeah. Hello, Go Random. Hello. Go nice. Random. It's over like I cannot disclose the location at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> St. Louis, Missouri. I think. Uh, it's good to see it. everybody. Silver Harrison, let the probing begin. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, Maxwell. Hello, welcome, Maxwell. I Who wants to be first in line? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Not me. I guess we can we can start off by as if, if you guys do have a um a, a paranormal or alien story, you can share it if you'd like. Silver Life or Cali Jose, if you'd like to go first. A paranormal. If anything is crazy has ever happened to you. I like actually that. when I was little, so I just remember it like being like about sunup. And then I'm looking outside like my apartment window. We didn't have we didn't have curtains, right? 
And then there was another apartment complex, but they, they were like one one story. So like I could see above them and then right above them, I saw it. It was like a flying disc of some sort, right? And then next thing I know, it's midnight. And I've, mm-hmm. I've been standing there for, for that long. I was That's seven years old. Yeah. You probed at seven? Yikes. No, for not probed. No, I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> not probed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't any different. I, I didn't know any better. I just lost time. That was it. That was it. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Did not feel funny. On? You know what? I gotta go on Tupac stream to see what the comments are because I bet that's where people are. Everybody needs to merge in one chat because I only got one chat. Yeah, we're we're trying to get them coming yeah. in right now. So if, so if you are in the Tupac chat, you can. Uh, I'll put up the link. Tupac to this chat. One. You, you guys better get here. over here because I'm gonna do a giveaway right now. Boom. Oh, oh, that. that could be a nice. <laughs> and then let me uh, pull that out yeah. really quick. Uh, and hi, Jeff. Boom. Crumpler. Awesome. Yeah, Daniel D'Ambrosio. Hello. And Howdy, Clinton mate. Watts. Hello, Clinton. Nice. Hi, Clinton. <laughs> Very you see what you Rod wrote? Life was oh, yeah. below. We got a 1999 S PF 69 Ultra Cameo, Pennsylvania Uh-oh. Silver. We're gonna give away, but you gotta be over in the new chat. Clinton Watts, they don't give a fuck about us. <laughs> they really don't. I was just watching it, Roseanne. I had to turn it off because it was interfering with my internet connection and whatnot. Hi, Hoosier Stacker and oh. RDC. And if you get timed out for five or ten seconds on this one, I forgot to turn off the bot. But it's okay. Don't worry, because you only won't be able to type for like ten seconds. So it's okay. But <laughs> I think there's only like certain buzzwords that'll time you out for a lot. But we won't say any of those anyway. So. Hey, man. Is Jackalope in here? I challenge Jackalope to get up here. Hello, Arnie C. <laughs> I challenge you, Jackalope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today we're we're sending out challenges to people we hardly. Yeah, um, I, I sent a challenge to Jackalope to get up on stream, even if it's just to say hi. Get out. I do. Hello, leaders. leaders. Welcome. Leaders. What's up? Yeah, nice. Hey, um, oh, I think you're muted. We can't hear I you. I can't hear you. Maxwell really? Silverhammer. Basically, almost Sorry. everything is all good. Hi, Perry Martin. Perry Martin. That's weird. I don't show muted. Oh, you're good now. You're yeah, good you're good now. now. We hear you. Huh? What to okay. do to hey, win? So, so, Vader's. When were you probed? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Life of Ron says. So, where do I sign up for the probing? Nice. Well, you can just follow this link uh, right here. Silver Life that's, is that's super awesome email. and doing a giveaway over here at the West Coast Customable, West Coast Collectibles. What the heck? Can't even say the name of our own channel. But 1999 Silver. You have 69 Ultra Cameo. So in order to, order. Uh, we still got 15. Everybody's going to be on this West Coast. That's yep. the only chat I can see. So once I type it. So I'm in order to. I'll put yep. it over here. A number for you guys and you guys can type it. Yep, so in order to uh, uh, get in on his giveaway, you got to follow this link right here. And then uh, once you're inside this chat, then yep, 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 yep. Well, right. Jose, you're out of it. Everybody that's in this chat that can see this is out of this. <laughs> nice. We got West Coast Coins and Collect Tables here. Sweet. Nice. Awesome. It's great to <laughs> see you. <Nice> tables. Thank you. <laughs> I looked up something earlier. And, put it uh, in a private chat. Tupac, William. Oh, hello, Ken Rhodes. Welcome. Thank we, you. We, we might have to change the name a bit. Hello, Hoosier Stacker. Change the name of what? Uh, oh, well, you know what? That's the reason why there's a colon and two R's afterwards. <laughs> That's what I was there thinking. Just but change the E's to threes. Yes, but yeah, yeah okay. 
but but until then, we'll just well we if we have to change it, we'll change it. But the cool thing is, if everyone's already here and we change it, then you know it'll yeah. change. So or we change the S's to twos. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, and the E's to threes. <laughs> right. <laughs> It'd be all messed up. People will be yeah. like, "What's really going on here?" Parade Please go to. <laughs> Imposters. Threes channel. <laughs> we are imposters. Uh, Hello, Jackalope. Welcome. Nice. Jackalope. Oh. Jackalope, I'm waiting for you to get on the board, Jackalope. <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, Silver Life is currently doing a giveaway on the West Coast Collectibles channel. So if you're not there yet, please head over here. William, and uh, I put the number in the private chat so you can type it. Awesome. All right. How many actually? <laughs> Are we allowed to get into it, Silver Life? Or did you put it in the private chat? I already put it you in the private chat. If so you want to do honor it. system, <laughs> if you do honor system, you don't have to look at it. Well, I already looked, so I'm out. <laughs> I I didn't look, but it would look too fishy if I won, so I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just took too much from Silver Life today. I don't want. I want. I don't want to take any more. <laughs> no, you're good, Jose. I love giving stuff away. No, no I appreciate you. I, I I love that pour that I won today. Like, and I, the it's fact so that we nice. keep, guys, Hello, you make sure you guys hit runs. up that. Look out for that 1,000 subscribe doll for Tupac's uh, channel because we're gonna be giving away a 1.6 ounce pour. Nice. Yeah. And thank you so much once again, you guys. I so got awesome. a letter we here. appreciate all the help and the support. And we know that that kind of stuff will draw a lot of people. And we certainly appreciate it so much. Yeah, you so guys much. are awesome. Should I open this today or tomorrow? This is from uh, Jackalope. A couple of uh, things I open it to the channel. Jackalope's here, right? What? Yes, Jackalope is here. I'm just reading Jenny's uh, paranormal story. I've seen a couple of UFOs. Well, feel free I, to see share. One, I see one really close. And if anyone would like to... Uh, uh, Jenny, um, when I was a kid, they used to take us on field trips to Angel Island. And, like, they... They have like the quarters where where some of the folks used to stay. They they say they've seen they've had many sightings there too. Ooh. Hi, Silver Scorpion. Thank you. All right, for so about, us. we'll do about fifteen Jackalope, more seconds, and about fifteen step. seconds, we're gonna drop the clue in the chat. So in order to uh, participate in this giveaway, courtesy of Silver Life, you must has, head over to the West Coast Collectibles channel. The two the two live streams are linked right now from the. Tupac uh, coin roll hunter channel. You can just see in the pinned message, the link is right there too. So you don't have to click anything and you can just pull that link down and click on it and it'll bring you right here. And once again, we will put in that clue in the chat in about five seconds. Okay. Yeah, that's why Dan, you're in the wrong chat room. Yeah. You just no, have to he's click not on in the, the wrong chat room. He's in the right one. Yeah, we just haven't put the clue in yet. It's about to yeah. be in right now. I can Rhodes. Oh, oops. Okay, I got to go in here now. Did you put it in the wrong chat? Yeah, I put it in both chats on accident. So we're only going to be reading the West Coast Collectibles chat at the moment. Which I got open right here on my I see a winner. phone. Yep, I do too. That was quick. Is it Wolf? Yep, I see the winner. Yeah. How's Vader's doing? Yeah, I'm doing all right. How you doing? Doing well, sir. Had a big storm right. this morning, but yep. it was a kind of hectic morning. <laughs> but a uh, hectic morning that sucks. Yeah, but we got through it. Hey, I might be doing a little better here in about two hours because I finally got Dave to go ahead and do another live stream on For the Love of Jerky. Nice. nice. Oh. Nice. All right. So we got a winner already. And uh, the number. Yes, it's one guess. Was 23. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? 
That's correct, Silver Life 23. Yes, sir. Awesome. And our winner is Cody Amons. Cody, congratulations, Cody. Cody. And then Cody had 23 right Cody. there. Congratulations. Nice. I'm going to put my email in the chat, Cody. Make sure you email me your address. That's all I need. Now, is the link for this chat not pinned over in the Tupac one? I think it was. I don't know if it's pinned. Yeah, okay. I it earlier. Is. Pretty sure it is. I just can't look over there right now because I'm on the other one. My oh, hey, no, crazy. Cody Amon's actually won your first giveaway on this channel. So Cody Amon was the very first Rob winner. Is. Yep, you're right. I'm going to write that down. Good and point, Vader. Crazy. Jenny. All you guys need to hop over to the other chat, to the other channel. Very good point, Vaders. And thank you for uh, mentioning that. Cody Amon's the very first winner on this channel when we do winners and giveaways. Ozzy nice. said it's not pinned in the other well, channel. You can, it's pinned you know, at you the can, top. You know, you can pin it, too, since you're Tupac Coin Roll Hunter. And it's your channel. You can pin the link on it, you know? <laughs> you don't have to. But, I mean, can. <laughs> Hold on. I'm dropping it in the chat. Uh-oh. All right, well. We still do this over here. <laughs> this is not going away. Nice. Yeah, so there's guy, the it says there's 11 people over there. So. Yeah, there's the link for the panel, and I'll put the link in for the uh, channel right now. And we'll start Welcome. watching this thing in the next couple of minutes, just as soon as we get everybody uh, situated. Welcome, Arzu yeah, and Arzu, and I'm crazy. Yeah, it's pinned at the top. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People are being yeah, so. stubborn. People are need, <laughs> need to have, like, <laughs> I'm being stubborn. Hello. Is, 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 is Zilly mistaken? Hello? Is easily, yeah, easily that's mistaken. That's mistaken. Oops. That's wow, not right over the head. Easily <laughs> mistaken. Easily mistaken. Right over my head. Ah, uh, got me again. <laughs> Hello, Lady Kid Nichols. Hello. Hi, Lady Kid Nichols. Are you Anna, doing Hello, Anna. And our zoo and zoo. Hello. Where's my silver? Hello. Nice. Thank you, everybody, who is finding their way over here. I'll be right back. No problem. And uh, I let me. Uh... Mistaken. <laughs> All right. Yes, Maria. I believe you are on the right one now. Okay, so I put the I put the link inside the chat right now again. So, boom, shakalaka. I don't know if I want to know what they injected life with Ron with. Uh, <laughs> are you sure you want to know? <laughs> I don't think I want to know. Yikes! <laughs> she erases my chat. Man. <laughs> John Farkas, uh, Roseanne, come argue on this channel. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nice. Oh man, thank you everybody for hanging out with us. You guys are awesome. This whole community is awesome. We did this. A lot of uh, people in different channels have asked us to do something to where we can let loose and we don't have to worry about um, bad yeah, words or this yeah. or that. And um, Grigley, really cool. <laughs> The whole point of my channel. <laughs> yep, definitely, you you kind of yeah. gave us the idea too, man. When you were, uh, what's that word? Uh, 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 oh my gosh, I can't think of words. <laughs> They're hard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're kind of giving us that idea, kind of uh, pushing in that direction to do something too, so we can all be on one day and <laughs> maybe possibly even get Dave on here and then we can do like a do a dual stream too from StreamYards where we can stream from your channel at the same time we stream from this channel. I think that would be a great idea, man. We yeah, that would be awesome. Do that kind I, of I, stuff I, too. I'm ready. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Silver Life. Got this seat at Liberty from Jack and <laughs> Pert Master and I thought I only got one Mert, but you sent me two. What's up with oh, that, Jack? Oh, nice. And uh, 
Jackalope, make sure you drop your link in the chat. And uh, make sure you guys check out Jackalope Herdmasters. Uh, yeah, channel. definitely. He's uh, just starting up. Could definitely use some subscribers. And, and once once again, feel free to drop a link in the chat too. Here too, we don't we don't are, are not against it. We are here for promoting. We want to promote your channels too. We love to do that. And just don't feel weird about doing it. Just don't do it like every five minutes. But yeah, feel free <laughs> to drop your link in the chat, man. Anytime, I, except I, not every five minutes. Hi, where's my camera? Bill Smith. Hello, <laughs> Greg Lee. Look at these motherfuckers in here. <laughs> got a lot of people. This is cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. Look also, at Ken Rhodes, make, make sure the boys got earmuffs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got earmuffs. Yeah, this, nice. this channel, uh, the, the language could get um, not PG. A little out there sometimes. <laughs> could get not PG. It's already been there. And, yeah, we only... <laughs> We still got 11 people that are in, are in this West Coast Collectibles. And as I'm going, uh, I'll be adding moderators also. And I'll be adding that link inside the chat for anyone who wants to join the panel while we watch this thing. We'll do some commentary over it. It's going to be pretty fun Jack and Luke. bizarre. But, uh, oh, Roseanne, yes. you need to hop over. <laughs> and then I'll Is she being stubborn? What's yeah, you better get up here. Close it. Close it. So they have to come over here. <laughs> and I'll oh, put that link in the now, over there. So here's the link to the panel, and here is the link to the chat or the video. Why is it not West Coast Coin and Collectible Street? I don't know, because you never sat down with me and worked it out with me. I had just brain <laughs> farted all over a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do this. You're like, we should do this on a Saturday and change a channel and do it. And I, just, I did it all in a week. Sorry, little errors. <laughs> hey, well, it's a right. Um, Half Dollar Make It Holler. Nagy noticed that their little banner over the top. Yeah. They had an R in dollar. And Nagy's all wet. You don't even know how to dollar. spell your channel name? <laughs> dollar or make it holler. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I mean, sometimes I've done that plenty of times where I had to go back and re edit images because I accidentally put like a little typo in it. That's the worst. But. Cool thing about some programs is you can actually do it in pieces. So you can just click on your little air and just edit it from there. So I had to learn the hard way, but geez, hey. it could be a, a pain in the in the butt. Skis. That's right. Nice. Thank you, Roseanne. Sweet. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah. So guys. So, you know, we got 30, oh, talk oh, yeah. about the probing. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess John, Mister uh, Tupac Colonel Hunter, you got a you got a story. Who is that? Haters. The what? no probe zone. Said so, you have a story. Yeah, when I was a when I was a kid, me and my friend, we were walking to the store, and. Uh, Walking down this dirt road, there was a big giant oak tree off in the distance, and above it was a UFO. We looked at each other and we ran. We don't have any lost time. Went and told my mom. She said that we were nuts. And uh, people, to you know, as I got older, they're all, oh, it was probably some military stuff or something like that. No, we were visiting my friend, and at that time, we actually lived on Camp Pendleton in Oceanside. I know pretty much what the military was using back then in the 70s, and it was nothing like what I saw. Especially <laughs> like circle shaped. That'd be scary. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was it was over that oak tree. I mean, I think it was probing the oak tree, thinking it was uh, <laughs> somebody or something, but yeah. maybe it was group. It was just cool. sitting over that thing, and it was really weird. Nice. We got a, uh, we got Maria, Maria Cervantes. Hello, welcome. Hi, Maria. 
Hello, How are everybody. you? I'm fine. Good. You have a, a probing story. I was going, welcome to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd <laughs> I just thought I'd be brave enough to come up here with you guys. Welcome, well, mission accomplished. Yes, this is. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for this all day. Oh, that's oh, awesome! Nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you to say. Hopefully, it's worth it. Yes, I'm <laughs> curious. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're, we're very glad to have you. We're going Thank to be you. playing. A, we're going to be playing a show, and we're going to be talking about it. Yes, throughout we'll watching this thing. We just yeah. want to. It's going to be say, quite interesting. Say hello to everybody, and uh, before we start this thing, it'll be pretty fun. We'll, we can talk over it. I'll have the subtitles on, but if we see something super interesting, we ought to comment on. We could pause it, and <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to pause this a lot, maybe. Jeez, I hear a. <laughs> Nice, someone's doing some woodworking in the background. Woodworking. Okay, maybe that's me. Nice. I think that's you. <laughs> I don't hear nothing. Someone's doing some woodworking, I guess. I turned my mic down and heard it. Didn't hear it anymore. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, that's awesome. Dang. What about you, Silver Life? Anything? Any crazy? Anything what? crazy? You ever seen a... An alien? No. Nope. <laughs> I hope I never do. <laughs> yeah, me neither. But the more, I don't know, the more and more the days go by, I feel like we're moving towards something weird that's going to happen. Yeah. I don't know. Whether or not it's hey, the government it's tricking us or it actually aliens coming from the sky, I don't know. seems like we're moving in that direction. Coin Silver, that's, that's pretty good, but we usually call it the Brady Bunch setup. Yes. <laughs> we'll get three more. <laughs> Kelly Jose. Hey, we're going to town on that wood. Oh, continue. My bad. I wanted to say hi to you. You you kind of remind me of my brother. <laughs> you kind of look like my brother. <laughs> oh, you're muted. You're muted. Jose, hi. you're muted. Yep. Uh, who's talking? Oh, you know, <laughs> I, I'm I'm kind of generic looking, so <laughs> I remind everybody of of their cousin or their funny uncle, and I'm I'm just glad I I I have something to relate with you guys. So, there we go. I feel the exact opposite, actually. I think that's why I, I am like like more drawn towards like the kind of person you are because I'm not used to like you, so. That's really? cool. And then you're an interesting oh, guy. Appreciate that. Jose, you're a really cool guy. Yeah. So I don't know why you think you're like like most people or like everyone else or anything, but you know, not really. No, he's, he's saying he looks like a lot no, of No, I look like like the, oh, yeah. the Mexican profile I have, like like my nose. And it's it's very dude, indigenous. You look, and, and you so look like, more you know, Indian than you do Mexican, dude. I'm saying it right now. Oh. I'm putting it down, I'm dropping the pen. Well, well, I am. Uh, my, I, my 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 dad is from an indigenous tribe down in Mexico, right? I mean, so honestly, I'm, I'm I'm Mexican indigenous. Like so, when I say I'm, I'm neo indigenous, yeah, me, right. neo like means that. now, and indigenous right. means you know from the land. So exactly. indigenous, my bad. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. I'm still sorry. running off of 1990 lingo. <laughs> me, me and my, my homeboy. I used to tell him. I I used to go into like malls and just all over the place and people would be like hey don't i know you you know this and that this and, that. and i'd be like no they're like oh you look exactly like you know and yeah. i told him he's like yeah yeah whatever so one day we were taking my car down to get fixed and we're in the the bmw dealership and they're doing the diagnostics on the car and we're sitting in there and one of the sales guys come up to me and he's like yeah you're gonna be uh playing basketball tonight? I'm all, what? He's all over at the Y, you know, where we usually meet up. I'm like, dude, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and, and he's like, man, you look exactly like it. I look over at my boy. I was like, dude, I told you, man, this happens to me all the time. It's just crazy. <laughs> crazy. 
Well, that's like somebody hey. called my brother a couple of weeks ago and asked him what I was doing down on the corner with cardboard sign. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! And he's like, "What's going on?" And I'm like, "Nothing. I'm out looking for rocks with my buddy out on the river." (laughs) (laughs) Guys, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna go grab some food. All right, Mister. Oh, uh, just let us know when you come back, and I'll I'll throw that link in there, and you can just join us. No problem. Sounds good. I appreciate you. No problem. Appreciate too, man. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hello, Bye. Kane. Kane Friday. Hello, welcome. Kane Friday. Kanye Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roseanne. No. Hey, Roseanne. Roseanne, you. don't you want to want to join us? Yeah, I'll put that up there. Down. I'll throw this thing up here one more time before we start this bad boy, this uh, documentary. Uh, yes, people are asking what the heck is happening. Uh, we're going to be watching a little documentary, the Stan Romanek story. <laughs> little, little, little Wikipedia action going on here. Say what? I would was gonna read it, but uh, you know that's not our strong suit here. So I was gonna say I'll read it. Oh. Team skeptic <laughs> showed up. Huh? <laughs> team skeptic. Team, team skeptic. skeptic. Oh, sorry, Roseanne. Aliens. <laughs> Every human should own one. <laughs> oh God, you're gonna start an intergalactic war, bro. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell is that? We are not. See, see, have we not learned our lessons? Come on. Like, we subjugated (laughs) fellow human beings and it did not end well. You think if we subjugate these aliens, they're going to respond well? (laughs) No. We're going to go from white supremacists to human supremacists. It's it's going to be Mars and Pac all over again. They're gonna be zapping us with ray guns. <laughs> for real. <laughs> you see, you seen in the new Loki series what they did uh, did to Homeboy for not taking a ticket? No, I haven't. No, he hasn't watched it yet. He hasn't watched it yet. No, 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 spoiler, uh, no spoilers. No spoilers. I but sorry, it Roseanne. And yes, I have to make this point really quick. I will only be a. Uh, reading uh, probably the people from West Coast Collectibles now on the phone so it doesn't get confusing anymore for uh, Roseanne over there <laughs> trying to uh, get everyone to come over here. So um, if you guys pop up the ones on that screen, I'll be only the popping up the comments on the West Coast Collectibles. And if you want to know how to get there, the link is pinned in the chat. And uh, yeah, we'll be periodically putting the panel link up if you want to join the panel while we watch this documentary, which we're going to start in about two minutes or so, which will be pretty cool. It's about aliens oh, and, and then, some weird stuff. And then, it, there's a question because yes. I, I see somebody's put in uh, dogs are better than people's. <laughs> but did dogs and did we um, domesticate dogs and cats or did they domesticate us? I think we domesticated each other. It's it's a whole bio biodome. <laughs> because the dogs and cats, you know, they kind of creeped into human society as we left waste i think the, the i think the, i think the cat came here from a meteorite and then when the meteorite hit the earth the cat species just hopped off of it and they pretty much all the all the old civilizations saw them and they all started worshiping them they're like oh my gosh and that's hey. why they have all the crazy uh cat how do we not know that cats and dogs aren't cats the aliens, aliens. <laughs> true. Yeah, and like true. animals. I think because cats are aliens. If you watch them cough up a hairball and all that weird, weird stuff they do, where they contort their body and stuff, where it's oh yeah, that's the weirdest it's, thing it's ever. It's alien like. Oh, weird. I you can know? say it. it's the weirdest shit ever. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> it's very weird, and, and just you like throw them and they land on all fours. I know. Yes. I just saw. I just yes. saw a video where a cat fell like nine stories and landed like perfectly on the ground. It bounced about two feet and it just yeah. ran off perfectly fine. Yeah. Crazy, insane. <laughs> it's actually, train the astronauts watching videos of cats to learn how they moved in the air in order to train them how to move in zero g's. Hmm. Hmm. I was watching uh, something they brought, uh, put a bunch of different animals in uh, in space, you know, the, the zero Gs. And they said the best animal for adapting to that was fish. 
Yeah. Interesting. Because they're practically in zero G's when they're in water. Yeah. Big Apple Stacker. Wow. Make Hi, Big Apple, Apple Stacker. Stacker. Welcome to the channel. Awesome. And Vintage Soul. I have to say, give a shout out to Vintage Soul. Hello. Hi, Vintage Soul. Nice. And Team Skeptic. Hello. Nice. This is really cool. We got 34 people. So, should, yeah. we, should we start this documentary and. Uh, Whoa, all right. Step down. It was nice talking to y'all. Oh, it was very, very, very nice talking to you, Maria. Sure. You right. joined us, Maria. Okay, I'm going to get you. down in the chat. Thank y'all. Bye. Thank you. No problem. Thank, Thank you for hanging out with us. All right. So a little backstory. This guy, Stan Romanek, is an experiencer who uh, claims to have over 150 different experiences, which he has documented almost almost all of them. And we're going to go through a bunch of them. And it's for you to judge whether or not you believe this or not. <laughs> I'll be right back. So, uh, yes, it's going to be pretty fun. And uh, like I said, if we see something super interesting that we want to pause on and talk about for a second, we'll stop it and do do so but we'll just continue through and do some commentary and this should get pretty interesting uh yeah you guys uh is everybody ready anyone want to say something or anything before we start i think i'm going to grab some chips and pretend i'm at the movies yeah no yeah problem, man. You can do whatever <laughs> you like to do and uh yeah give me one quick okay. second i'll be Oh, I like that. Life with Ron says octopus are actually aliens. They are really smart. They can open up jars and stuff. Yeah, they're creepy too. <laughs> Squeezing through tiny little holes. Yeah, as long as their beak can get through it, they can get through. Coin Silver. Uh, Coin Silver says, uh, "I have an interest in the Bob Lazar story. We will be tagging. We will uh, be tackling that here pretty soon, sometime probably. I would definitely want to do that." I just want to do this one first because it's like a test thing out. This is going to be kind of funny. It's I'm not going to take it too seriously and just here to have a good time and work out the kinks of we want to do other watch alongs or stuff like this or talk about other possible hoaxers or experiencers. It'll be cool. And uh, like I said, this, isn't, this won't be the only thing we do here. We'll do all kinds of topics and different kind of stuff. If anyone has any ideas they want to bring to the table or have their own kind of like show where they want to discuss something they really want to like just discuss, Feel Take free to book. email us. Yeah, feel free to email us. We uh, we listen to everybody's emails, and uh, yeah, it would be really cool. Very cool. And I'll put that link in the chat one more time before we start this thing. And then I'll keep on periodic. If you uh, guys, uh, um, I don't know if you can. I think can, you don't, Jose, you don't have the option to share the, um, the uh, StreamYard link. It doesn't give you that option. Okay, nice. Good good call. All right, all right. Well, I'm going to start this thing since I'm the only one here now. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Dramatic music. Extraordinary. The Stan Romanek story. Let's freaking go. Let's yeah, credit go. To Credit Let's to all go. these people who made it. We're not we're not profiting off of this whatsoever. So uh, credit to this weird weasel guy and to his producer and his production company. All credit goes to them. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> the weird weasel guy. <laughs> the yeah. weird weasel guy. And thank you, Stan Romanek. We are putting your story out there, so uh, you're welcome. This is gonna be weird. Thank you so Sorry, much. Yeah, thank you, Roseanne. I'm just uh, rusty at this All first right. time, so I'm going to get better at differentiating. Okay. okay, good. You can see everything. Well. <laughs> Probing music commence. What you're about to see is mesmerizing. <laughs> Let me know if my chips are too loud. I can mute myself. Definitely. Jesus. <laughs> Super Damn, intense already. Said perfect music to get probed to. Yes. And I oh, never watched God. this either, too. We know, none of us have watched this. I know all about the story and I've studied it, but I have not watched this documentary. You so know, we're all seeing this. Be 
This, but this so is, is the isolation that constantly follows the misunderstood stand is most definitely misunderstood. <laughs> the newest maniac says he needs his glasses and can't read this. Me too. That's he's, why I'm wearing these. He's he can't have throwing, full knowledge all at once. He's throwing quotes he on the screen to, to make himself look important and smart so we believe him better. Okay. The evidence. Here we oh go. Oh my god, I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I god. hope I keep this. I hope this is working. I'm going to love this. Working. Please be working. Okay, I got to come down. <laughs> Mark. Wait until you see this. You're gonna have a frickin' canary. Hi. <laughs> okay. All right. I am on my way up to the mountains to take some videotape uh, to show Lisa. And uh, it is December 27th, I believe. And I was, uh, I believe this is Jewel. And oh my God, I'm shaking. Saw something kind of out of the corner of my eye, uh, just skirting power lines. Uh, it uh, was tilted and straightened out and shot straight up into the air. And okay. But I didn't see it. Am. Okay. Here's the power lines. Talk about it all you want, want, but if you don't man. see shit. Yeah, where is it, man? I want to shake like a freaking canary. Okay. It was one of the Blue Angels. Hello. We never seen it. Welcome, Vintage Soul. Hello. Welcome to the panel. Hello. That's a balloon. That's a freaking balloon. That's an R2 unit. He fell out. What's interesting about that video is he filmed it a long time ago, and it's the very first piece of evidence, and it actually looks like a Tic Tac UFO. But I'll give you my theory after we watch this of what this guy's deal is. But that's the very first thing he filmed. So that's what got him into this thing. All right, I'm going to go outside and take some pictures of some balloons. <laughs> Welcome, Christina Rogers. And Christina, please have... head over here to this channel, please. I can could, I could have the same, same, what you call it, argument that they have. Actually, well, we don't know because it's up in the air. As I was turning in to uh, come up to Daniel's Park, this is Dan Romanek. Just kind of caught out of the corner of my eye and didn't really pay much attention to it. But I really got a good glimpse. Not to of you it guys, sorry. Not to you guys. The, the dude. steep hill the dude. just right before you get up to the top of Daniel's Park, and I could see the uh, the light emanating from the from whatever this thing was on the ground, blinking on the ground. Um, it lit up the whole area. There it is. There's the thing that's been following me. Oh shit! What is that? Yeah. It's, it's so close right here. Where did it come from? I don't know. know. The girl saw it. There it was. The girl saw it. We could have no idea what they were talking about. It's a giant light bulb thing. Hey, close down, <laughs> clouds. These are all it. clouds. It's a witch. That was a witch in the sky. This guy's got a lot of a lot of pictures and stuff, man. It's like they're drawn to him like Magneto. <laughs> That's cool. I like those because that's. I think those are government things, man. I think those are the government UFO, UAV things we have. <laughs> There's a dead bug. I can't tell you what camera. this is. I can't. I have to convince myself of what I keep seeing. Thank God there's lots of other people that see it too. <laughs> oh gosh, this is ridiculous. Oh. I've heard about this. This is ridiculous. What, the equations? Yeah. Oh gosh, here we go.
So basically, he like writes equations and stuff in his sleep, or just like randomly has like equations. And uh, yeah, he like it's it's weird, but he writes like the Drake equation, but he adds times ten at the end of it, which is okay. <laughs> A donut and headphones? G7 SGLB. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how kindergartens look at, at, at chemistry. <laughs> He does have like an auto zone kind of like kind of face. You know what I I would like to know if if you're making such a claim like aliens, right? You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to say this because it's just going to open a can of worms. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, just, here we go. We're getting into the juicy stuff now. Probing. Oh gosh. One yeah, probing time. Oh, he's he's <laughs> he's been pulled. He's been probed one, two, three, four, five times. Yesterday when I had the Christina Rogers. Uh, nope. Oh gosh, here we go. My work actually when my boss first saw it. Um, that night, um, something must have happened because I woke up in the morning and I had um, get in the zone. Some indentations in my back oh and god I notice this actually here we go cigarette burns noticed it. But i noticed <laughs> that i had uh oh sores yikes. around my wrist like i was been roped or had been handcuffed so he poured them okay. and this was it's healed amazingly fast um all right so that proves what you you heal fast? You have a good immune system? So you colored your cuts with highlighter and put it under a black and light. And his, his cool. girlfriend burned his back with a cigarette. <laughs> Did you see that? Dennis Jameson, hello, welcome. Right there, that's the cigarette burn right there. Yep. Zilla Zilla, yeah, hello, welcome. Cigarette. Awesome, guys. Oh, you yikes. That, him. What? You cheated He's on me with that black. Oh, yeah. yeah, she got mad at him. Nice. He's, he didn't want to show off his muscles in this picture. Those are cigarette yeah. burns. Hey, yikes. Those look Little like botworm. Lay off the spray here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I burnt I myself with cigarette back when I used to smoke cigarettes, and that's exactly what it was like. <laughs> John Parker said this guy blacked out, drunk, and ended up in the pokey, but couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. We got video evidence time. <laughs> in the pokey. Dun, dun, dun. I gotta make the screen bigger. Oh my god, that's a flashlight. Are you kidding me? I never. Oh my gosh, I heard about this. He's standing <laughs> on his roof with a flashlight. Come on. <laughs> oh god. Dude, this is, how did Netflix pick this up? This is crazy already. The heck is there? <laughs> we're, we're only like 10 minutes in. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Mhm. Mm <laughs> okay, so you got cameras? Oh, because your house got probed, you had to take off all the siding. Cool. Hey, what's today's date? Yeah, if you guys see any comments in the chat too it's that you guys over. think are funny too, you feel free to click on them. Oh, I made the screen big. I can't see it now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just reading through this, and people are <laughs> having a riot. There's, there's a good one right there. You put the ladder right there. It's a little fishy that something happened, and uh, it's the next day they are coming to replace all that fighting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Roseanne's gonna kill you. 
Roseanne's mad at you. Was a crop circle? Yeah, I know. I saw that. <laughs> There's a crop circle. Oh, yikes! Lay off the. Okay. Yeah, Prince the Lay off the. In the, in Lay the, off the... This, Jenny, this video originally was picked up from Netflix, but Netflix had to pull it due to uh, a plot twist that will be coming at the end of this documentary. So if you lose power when you're sick, the next time they think it'll be fine. I hope so. <laughs> We don't know. It's on. So you guys can hear it really well, and I'm not interfering over it when I talk. It's a pattern, right? I mean, it's right in line. Yeah, it it was there when I woke up at three o'clock. Thank you. Well, I don't know if those, you know, those lesions are on your leg, huh? Oh, sorry, it's Roseanne. It's a pattern that this, you know, it's hard for me to to cover this from any, you know, insect or anything like that. More likely, Possibly. Butterfly is what I'm saying. And I'll put that. What the heck? Who just needs to take a shower more? <laughs> and I just put that link in the chat again if anyone wants to hop up there with us. And thank you, Jenny. Yes, please click on that link that's being posted in the the other chat and head over onto this one if you'd like to participate yep. we have Colin exterminator bed bugs says DJ <laughs> <laughs> what is this Christopher Moon comes to the house for a electronic voice phenomenon recording oh my god ghost he's got ghosts too oh this guy's so got now it all. they're one in the same this guy's got it all man he's like his own little oh gosh <laughs> Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> Look at Dennis's comment. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh you're scary. I want my mommy. <laughs> what is this? Oh, mommy. <laughs> Siren Silverstaff says, I can't believe I'm Lord. watching this instead of working. So, we're <laughs> so that looks like an owl maybe landed on the ground for a second and he's whispering because he doesn't want to scare it. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. Nice Photoshop. Interesting. This is kind of cool. I like this. I like the evidence part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a cat. <laughs> uh, this is Stan Romanek, the extraordinary. Ex the extraordinary uh, something. Um, oh my gosh! What's it called again? Extraordinary. The Stan Romanek story. I know, Roseanne. I'm Roseanne. I'm missing UFC too. I'm. I'm. I have to miss it. I'm sorry. I. I watch it every week, but this is. This is awesome. <laughs> but I apologize. Oh yikes! You got. I think he, oh, come on. I think he goes out and drinks a lot in bars and gets knocked out by people. And then I think he's doing like a fight club. <laughs> I don't know. I have to see this guy like, with another broken fight nose clubs, oh, The one where you fight yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like he's talking shit to somebody and they beat the fuck out. Okay, today is May 5th, 2005. Oh, here we go. Um, we have problems you can't hide. with our speakers buzzing all the time. I could change my name and to You Can't Hide Too. I to let you see in here for yourself. E, yikes, that's... Thank you, Stan Romanek. Sorry, earphone users. Okay. Once again... It's yeah, off. this guy's There's weird. No Definitely John Farkas. <laughs> weird. Really do that. <laughs> you know, Ms. Matters, like, if you lose at this right. fight club, you get probed. <laughs> Sorry, Ms. <laughs> Yikes, this guy, I knew it. He's crushing that stuff up and snorting it, and that's why he keeps on getting the bloody noses. Yep. Damn, they got you, bro. Pill popping and starting fires. That's not good. Hi, Silver. Oh, here we go. This is encounter probing time. Probing time. 
Chandra, please click on that link and head over to this channel, please. Oh, uh, the from the West Coast is. Collectibles channel. Oh, here we go. More orbs. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Oh, here we go. Dude, this is what we saw. Remember what we, we saw this on his patio like a couple years ago, oh like God. the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Even though this is probably fake, we saw something very similar to this, which is really weird. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> great, great shot. Oh my gosh. I got no words. Yeah, laser pointer, Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Laser light, yep. Yep, you guys are deb debunking this as we go. Laser, lo la laser loins. TWM53, hello. Uh, please click on the link and join us over here at the West Coast Collectibles stream. But it's nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome, Silvermore. Hello. Nice to see you. Maxwell Silverhammer, hello. He says, what the ass is going on in here? <laughs> hey, tattoo? Yes, yeah, so, so a Siren Silver So most, most of the people in the chat are saying dust or laser light with these orbs. <laughs> which I agree. I, <laughs> Kanye is like, he's too bad to be on meth. <laughs> oh visitors here we go aliens time we're getting into the alien stuff let's do it oh. oh yes this is what made him famous so you guys may have seen this on cnn about eight years ago ten years ago but this is what got this guy the documentary this little video right here so you may have seen it before and this is where it comes from this this douche sorry <laughs> i didn't but you'll, you'll understand why i call him that at, at the end so trust me Trust me. Oh, look at him. There he goes. Welcome, TWM53. Thank you for joining us over they're coming, here. They're coming. <laughs> Getting all my uh, moderators set up for when we uh, branch out. Branching. Oh, here we go. Get ready. Do you see the flashing? He's using his camera. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Is right. I have to drop my first S bomb with that one. Oh shit! Dude, I think we could do a better job than that, man. Oh, definitely. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And zip. <laughs> it's like Scooby Doo. It's like Scooby Doo when they put their head around a corner and go like this. He set up the camera and then he ran around outside, put on this yeah. mask, and now he's like. Oh go. my gosh. Oh, Come please. On, man. Oh, please. Man, he's just dropping down. <laughs> now he's back. <laughs> ah, that's so fake. That was so fucking fake. <laughs> With his Tom Green looking ass. The grandfather ghost is the better one. The grandpa. He calls it the grandpa. Oh, here we go. This is ridiculously dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. Oh god. Really? Oh my god. I don't know. Give us six figures, bro. That looks like a paper mache, dude. <laughs> it looks like a cardboard cutout. That's a good point, hockey mask. A bad I like these ones. Up. These are my favorite ones, the pictures. They're ridiculous, but they're kind of cool looking. He says that I the alien ac accidentally took a selfie. That's his explanation for this. It picked up the I camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like Groot. That's a good... That's I good, lost uh, time, but I know he took a selfie. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very good uh, observation. It looks like a Groot mask. No clue. Yeah, alien oh. selfie. John F. But, oh well. 
Oh <laughs> the only thing scary is creepy music. Oh shit. oh shit, there it is. Oh my god, what's it doing? That's actually creepy, dude. Holy shit. I won't lie, that's creepy. Oh <laughs> His name is Paul. Somebody. Oh my god, oh my god. I can't this believe guy's... it. Right. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? If you're a human or if you're an alien, you come into my house like that, you can't even. You... Yeah, it's gonna be oh, bad. Oh shit. The fuck you gonna run from him? Fuck oh, his ass! He you see that M? I agree. The music is pretty creepy. He's only like three foot three. Come on. I and that's I can't what I'm see that. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? If anybody came to your house like that, I can't believe, like that. believe that. I, can't I just fucking saw. Fucking saw. Oh my why, God. why don't you call 911? <laughs> oh okay, first, I got to pause really quick. First of all, if you saw an alien in your kitchen, you want to be, oh my God, oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. I'd be like, holy fuck. And I would Get jump up shotgun. and run out of the big room. Shotgun! Are you kidding me? You wouldn't jump around and because I don't give a fuck who you are. You somebody up in my house. I don't know what you're trying to take or yeah. what you're trying to probe. Shit, man! If I saw that me. in my kitchen, I would either have a heart attack, even at the even at the age of thirty-one, or I would probably shit my pants. At or, least, or that, or you'll freeze. Yes, like, no, you would. You would freeze. You would be sitting there going, "Oh my God, there's an alien in my kitchen." It's it's weird. I don't know. Hey buddy, Sir, you want to smoke some weed? Sir Rich says no bullshit. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Yeah, dude. Oh my God, I would freak. I would have PTSD <laughs> for the rest of my life every night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pull up, pull, pull up his comment. <laughs> his 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 buddies are larping. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, one? So I was out. Yeah. I was out garage sailing today, and I went into this one garage, and there was a dude dressed up like a Renaissance dude with his full-on sword. And I mean, I was just all whoa. The Renaissance fair. Really? <laughs> no, but this is. I think this guy dresses up like this, like Hello, always. Yeah, I'm Jenny, yes. I would throw my chair at it. He's I would probably throw like that at a garage sale. Care. He lives in the house that's having the garage sale. <laughs> and he just, oh, this is his normal attire. Like, it's yeah. 865. You know what great footage you would get if you actually took the camera and hooked it at the alien's face, like, watching it in slow motion, just, like, travel to the alien, <laughs> and watch the alien's eyes, like, wide open, like, oh, my God. And then, boom, right in the face. I mean, that would be great footage, too. So why not chuck You know what I would say? E.T. Fall home, thing. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Sheepdog. You got here right right in a weird time. I'm sorry. Yes. But, yes. Hello. Oh, I don't think you have to delete those. That's fine. I accidentally dropped that. I would have sh shat myself. All right. So we're going to continue on through this. We're seeing... You keep on bringing the comments, guys. This is awesome. I'm, I'm sitting here reading these while watching this, and this is... This you guys are good. giving me just as much entertainment as watching this weird thing. I'm going to get some cookies. Oh, this is... Oh, God. Here we go. You guys are going to debunk this in 30 Why seconds. Why is she calling? This is the most like, easy, easily debunkable Press thing of a story. Press 9. More options. Press 0. Resave. Urgent message. Have a great night, Christina. Thank you for stopping so by. Forward. It did not take us long to get your phone numbers. Our surveillance is mostly for past Thanks. monitoring, but it does come in handy. I can just not got here. tell you, look, I am, for safety reasons, but I can tell you that your perceptions of Stan Romanik and his experiences are real. As you have probably noticed, Stan is slightly different. This is the coming from his, um, the way he his uh, voicemail, right? Seems yeah. To be a little more or his old usual. school the recorder that people used to have in their house Stan on the landline. I have no idea who he really uh, what is. What is it called? <laughs> okay, at least I hit the button. Can I answer machine? What? That's what That's the hell? Hello, Stan and Lisa. My intention is really not to scare long? or alarm you, but to warn you. This is ridiculous. It's great that you are back in Colorado, but Colorado Springs was. Not a good idea. So this alien called him and left a message. And they call him Starseed. Which is kind of creepy. But please, heed this warning. 
and young athletes are in the children area to this school. So now this Damn. is our scene. You put my family you in this? Are different your instincts and stay I'm going to hang out. The story gets really interesting, Shady, with his, with his wife. Oh my gosh. I feel, <laughs> feel so bad. Shady, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hey, you Sorry about that. Oh, oh, wait, wait, um, go, go ahead. My God, sorry. Continue. Put it back up. Yeah, I saw that. I put that on the screen already. Bringing it back up. You can get. You can take off screen. Where we're going, there is no roads. Yeah, yeah I, I, I got it. I took. Wait, didn't I take care of it? Hey, be nice. Yeah, I took care of it. Not cursing at each other. Who is this? Why are you calling me? Who is this? Really? They keep calling him Starseed. That's the code name he gave himself. <laughs> this is freaking nuts. <laughs> oh my gosh. What, what, dear? It was an alien. It was on the phone. What do you expect? I'm gonna be late for dinner. Sorry, Siren. Maybe I keep hearing like some weird ass thing in the background, like a mumbling. Something. Yeah. Are you See still there, Heidi? Yes, I am. What the hell was that? Yikes! Thank you. I don't know. It's called ear rape. That was really a big sound. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay, I don't think I have those out. <laughs> you hear that, Stan? Oh my god, Stan Romanek, you suck. Just stay on. How do you feel? Hello? You have I mail. I am here. Did we lose him? <laughs> Stan? Stan. Let me bring Stan back in, okay, Heidi? Okay, hang Did on. he just get abducted on the phone? Yeah. Oh Are you kidding Are you there, me? Heidi? Yeah. This is okay. real. Hey, April is standing. This can't not be real. This can't not be real. Um, yeah, he's on the floor. He passed up. Oh my gosh, he came back. Exactly. Let me guess with a bloody Shady nose. Green. Let me guess, he has a bloody nose. Hello. Victoria. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like someone's phone. We are sorry. We did not mean to affect him that way. Transition into Yikes. I'll turn down a tiny bit. There we go. Is this some I am number four stuff? <laughs> I turn it down a tiny bit. Oh, here we go. Is this his daughter? Yes, his daughter. This is this is where we get into the really weird stuff. Oh, if you already thought it was I am number four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's his daughter. His alien daughter. Wait, no, it's a cat. Oh. That's a cat. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Hey, how do you not know? Well, there it is. There it is right there. You missed it. Ah! That's a cutout. That's a cutout. Dude, this is... Oh, gosh. That's a cutout. Yeah, his alien, his children, he claims that he had a a, a, a a child with a woman on an alien spaceship, and then they uh, gave him a hybrid child. And its name is... Uh, I can't remember. There she is right here, though. Jeez. Just because you have a lot of feedback and static in your call doesn't make it more authentic. Carnet <laughs> Friday <Sorry. laughs> wants to know what kind of currency they, they use. <laughs> that was real. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's Kilma. There she is. 
Oh, the, that's Kilna. Look at Kilna. Kil Aw. She only takes pictures from outside the window, though. Oh, what the heck? She even do? <laughs> oh, my God. The fuck? We don't let her inside. Outside daughter. Hey! <laughs> that was a Sarno! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Shady. He says this guy lost his job at Kmart. Now he's out of control. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hi. We, we can hear you, this Kilma. 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 Hello. Kilma, are you there? So this is the daughter. Oh, sweet little girl, we can hear you. Can you talk louder? Hello? I think somebody's playing a joke on us. You're silly. You're silly? I thought she said, Why am I silly? I thought she said you're stupid, okay, too. this is cute. Oh, when are we going to see him in person again? <laughs> She probably did say that, except he just, you know. Oh my gosh! So it's clone. <laughs> Gotta go, <Hello>? bye! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No! Oh gosh, here we go. Uh, she showed up at the, U okay, so his daughter apparently showed up at the UFO press conference and sat in the state. What? Are you kidding me? i never seen that one before. I call bullshit. It looks like Lady Gaga with uh, the prosthetics. <laughs> they they could do this with Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, they had to have Photoshop that girl into the shot because if anyone actually saw her walk in with prosthetics... Well, actually, then again, I wonder if people actually show up at alien conferences. They do, and, 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 and that's the other thing. You can cosplay. So but like, the conferences are cosplay. for, like, seriousness. Well, they're supposed to be for seriousness, not the actual, like, um, conventions. Conventions and uh -huh. conferences are two different things. The conferences are for like there, there's a very thin line between both of them. Weird. If he actually had someone show up look like looking like that to a conference, screw this guy. <laughs> Seriously. He makes people like me believe in this stuff. One look thing like that is. I think strikes a lot of people, and it certainly did me when I met Stan, is he's just a normal guy. <laughs> oh gosh. Like the evidence, order? the his yeah, these are his references. Yeah, it's that 5309 number. around him change, it really affects him. My first thought was that he was highly sensitive, highly aware. What I would uh, think of as the uh, artistic personality. Answer questions quickly, appropriately. Is that? I was impressed. Is that Chong for Chicha Chong? It seemed like a normal guy. <laughs> Thank you. Howard 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 Newton. Howard Einstein. They're a normal family. I mean, I saw their family life. They all see. All right, back. Oh, thank you, lady. Honest, thank you for your three sincere. seconds of input. And down to earth. <laughs> when, they wear socks, you, wear shorts, they didn't they give her shorts. a name. You know, it's. Oh, here's his wife. It's oh. not like an abductee is somebody is who wears a tinfoil hat. Tommy Chong. have moon boots. <laughs> you know, he's very normal. But he has abnormal things happening to him, around him. But more for him, you know. It's pushing him to <laughs> do something Chong. very important, not only for himself, Bell. but <laughs> in a way for humanity. Bubba Bogey, I think that number is supposed to be eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Yep. <laughs> well, I grew up in a uh, a military. Oh gosh, family. the backstory and, of Stan Romanek. Um, you know, we moved around quite a bit, not as much as most, but um, I had the added uh, discomfort of suffering from severe dyslexia. And in those days, I didn't know much about my learning disability. And they don't even think it's a learning disability anymore, but um, I was always put in classes with, Wait, you know. Wait, are you a professional, bro? Retarded kid. Can, you, can, you, I can, can I quote you on that one? Because I work with kids, and I'm pretty sure dyslexia is still a very real thing. Oh, he. This just made me so mad um, right now. Because this is. Dude, it's going to make you mad at the end. Oh, he's putting out information that's really fucking. And I had, you know, I had gang members around me all the time. We're going to send this guy an email at the end of this documentary, trust me. We haven't even gotten into the weird stuff yet. Amongst themselves now, it was always. Not stab wounds and stuff like that. I was always <laughs> problem. I don't believe him. me a lot what? because number one, I was the he was he grew up in Compton. Two, I had a learning disability. 
And he just I said he grew up in Compton. To fight because of it. Oh well, gosh, Compton used to be a really affluent uh, community in the, when I was in the 60s and 70s. That's what I used to say when I was in like sixth grade to so make myself seem tough I when I went to a new school. And <laughs> I grew up in Compton. Don't mess with me. I can know how to fight. Life, you know, because of all the constant <laughs> violence and all the, you just know, gonna... having to deal with everything that I had to deal with, I was frustrated. <laughs> Yep. Um, I kind of Let's get ready to highlight that. Just kind of found my own way. When you look at that past, did it make you a better person? How did it help you? Honestly, uh, like, yeah. More smells like shit. Certain yeah. people are chosen for certain Aliens things. taught me algebra. I had to go through Time that get out. <laughs> so I could understand the human condition. This guy's in the dictionary. So the role that I play shit. now, without that understanding, I couldn't do. I couldn't. You know, the message that I have, I couldn't. And once again, oh my gosh, we got thirty-six about, people in here just absolutely. watching. This. Thank you so much, everybody. This is awesome. I hope you guys are having fun. Seems awesome. like everyone's enjoying themselves. You know, when I was growing up, so my opinion of crazy. UFOs was welcome back, Faders. Some people are crazy if they believed in that stuff. You know, I just I didn't even pay attention. That's the way it was. I don't like the sound of this guy's voice either. It bothers me. Us. God made us, and that's You can it. tell he like loves talking and about so himself. When this okay. big event happened, so, let's talk about God. Around. I first, I mean, it, it oh, literally took me years to come to terms with. You have to, you have, you have to realize this guy thinks he's think the most important thing. Aliens were, 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 were his creation to too. Through that time. <laughs> and I, he's he's yeah, the he's the middleman between us and aliens, though. That's why he thinks he's so important. Stuff happened. There were other people. Star star seed. They put some. Seeding your um, star. Stuff that happens with him, <laughs> even now only happens with a lot of people around. So, I it, you know, it took a lot to shake Fiona. my tree, but when it shook, it shook violently, and it changed. Everything. <laughs> Perry Yikes. Martin, psycho. <laughs> my first uh, official sighting. Thank you, Perry. Says I'm not sure why I'm still watching. Um, <laughs> We appreciate that. Um, I met my wife online. She lived in Nebraska. I lived in Colorado. I wanted her to come visit me. So Colorado. Thought, Interesting. You know, good way to do it. I was going to videotape the surrounding scenery and the skyline of Denver. Yeah, the family tree. Watch out, pollen snacks. Um, They're out there right now. Um, Same area. No, back this guy's currently in prison right now, so you don't got to worry about it. I was pulled off to the side oh. of the road. Oh, oh no, we're no, talking about Colorado. Colorado. I won't tell you why, but we'll the, find out. We'll find out at the end. Power lines that were off to right, my right. left, or I would, I should say, off to the side. No, this, this, this is a real picked up and documentary by I, Netflix. The evidence in it might be at, fake, but this is real. Looking at this is it looked like oh, there kind of they him? silver hot yeah. air balloon until and until shit hit the fan. Things get crashed into the damn power. There we go. And as I got closer, it's like. Come on, oh, here we go. I like this one because this guy, this guy actually filmed this with a bunch of people watching around him, so they all filmed it too. So I think since he captured on video, he loved the rush of capturing it. So he's been faking everything since to get that rush again. It was actually tilted forward, and it was that's what I believe. Power lines, and it reoriented. So I think this one's authentic. And literally, shot a thousand foot. Kind of, but that's what people have been seeing for the past two years, which is very crazy and very interesting. That's the only thing I believe that he's actually filmed is authentic. This thing wasn't small. You know, I was fighting. And I think since he actually filmed something real, he was like, oh my gosh, look how much attention I got because he got on the news. Military thing. And then he got on the news for the alien thing. Too. So I think he's just he's, he's like uh, chasing the rush he gets from putting out fake stuff. Now. Oh no, she died. Next branch Dominican leader. I explained to her, and I could be real. Could also be real. Saying you're not going to believe this. I don't know what this is, but turn on your web camera. I took the uh, you know, worse than was Jones down. The and I took the camcorder up to <laughs> the Bobby's Bobby's like, so they launched a suit. I was very <laughs> excited, and he, he was convinced he was insane. Right on. And I'm like, this is so I cool. Want one of those she believed cleaners. in this stuff, and I didn't. So she kind of helped me. Calm when I got down. probed. I mean, he was just so excited, but scared. You know, it was just that little boy in him where it's like, oh, he is. You're not going to believe me. this. He is. He's and getting yet, his. It's like I don't believe this. This is too weird. This is too scary. This is, but this is really cool. If this is what it is, I wonder you know, if he still blames it on aliens him. from it prison. Took a lot, a lot yeah. to convince me that anything like that was even remotely real. <laughs> and spoiler alert, he does. 
two o'clock. A knock the at the back door. Maybe two thirty. <laughs> What's and the they must have been knocking for a while because I'm a heavy sleeper, but they knocked long enough that it woke me you up. You heard him? They the knocked him from the maybe back. My friend ran out of gas and he had to walk back. Maybe it was the neighbor. They were drunk. Really? I wasn't sure. Oh. Got up to answer the door. That. And I noticed as I, you know, start walking down the hall, my sister had already answered the door. And I looked past my sister, and there were three people standing outside. <laughs> oh, nice. The first thing that popped into my head is, oh, my God, they're here to rob us. They're going to rob us. Why do they us. have that Pro oh. yelling at my sister. Correction, right correction. Oh, my God, they're here to probe us. Probe us. And because they're going to rob us. And they're going to rob I get us. And closer, I, I realize that she's eyes are kind of just slightly open, mouth just wide open. And she's Roseanne, thank you so much for uh, sleep or something. working really hard to get her, people over here. Moving. Highly appreciate that. And then when I get really close, I realize there's a female and two males. And I got to tell you, I was really scared. <laughs> really <laughs> scared because I had just come to the realization that the probably going to be Yeah, she was pretty thick. But I didn't really think about the fact that something had to be driving these UFOs and that they might not be human. And then now I'm being confronted with this reality oh. that there's something at my door. That is inhuman. And let me tell you, it was really quite disturbing to me. And it seems like um, it is very disturbing right to you, sir. As I got <laughs> Shady, I resemble that remark. You mean forward. you resent the remark? And for whatever reason, <laughs> I could hear myself screaming in my head, but I couldn't. It wasn't coming out. And she grabbed He does look like Tom Green. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I, never, I never, never saw that. I can see it's it now. Okay, it's going to be okay. And the thought was not my thought. I didn't put that thought in there. It just appeared. And let me tell you, it must have freaked me out enough oh, that God. I somehow really? snapped out of whatever trance they had me in. And there was a male on either either side of me. And by the time we got outside oh the balcony, <laughs> I grabbed one of the males and I was going to literally stand out the balcony. He's almost, he just, he just said he's, he he almost threw an alien off the balcony. And, I woke up somewhere else. and then they tapped him on the back of his head. And oh, gosh, like, here we go. I am. It's really bright. This is what I want to do to see my experience, see if I can recall mine. But this could also be bogus too. I don't, I don't know if I believe in hypnotic progression. I can't tell. I can't move my arms. I can move my head. I can move my body. That's like I'm sucked. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, bro. You know, you go to an amusement that's park. That's what it was happening. That's a different, that's a different kind of problem. And, <laughs> yeah. <and they're> <laughs> that's what it felt like to me. I could, but it was in, incredibly intense. Oh, God. Here we go. I'm trying to get free. I can't get free. Alien tentacle. Uh. Yeah, it seems to be yeah. Wrist, but He's like, what other lies can I come up with? He's literally it's like, like thinking about. Oh my but it's gosh, not this is this hurting my brain. I could move my hands. I could kind of move my hand, move my <laughs> my feet a little bit, but I could not get free of this wall. <laughs> and when I looked, it looked like it had quarter-sized copper pieces about uh, their <laughs> space, maybe a foot apart. All over the wall, just peppered the whole wall. And oh, yeah. he was a, he was a copper stagger. on my ankles and on my wrist. <laughs> yeah. were copper and had these tiny filaments, <laughs> almost like hair like filaments that were going to the wall. <laughs> and if I wanted to, I could have snapped them, but for some reason I, I was stuck, so I couldn't. <laughs> Life do I, I was <laughs> stuck. Oh, God, here we go. They're turning me over. They're turning me over. The tickets are they, not refundable. They turned me around. Caress my, 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 my back that hurt really stung really bad, like they were cutting me or something. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, he, oh, he just literally. Oh, he's talking about being probed right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And I what? I don't know what he said. Oh. Head, and I woke up in the middle of the room. They got to put the subtitles on the top. Dang it. With the female, <laughs> he right said, there. "Oh," and she looked at me. Yeah, <laughs> leave like a memorial sentence. <laughs> suddenly, an explosion of thought literally <laughs> filled my head. It was so intense it knocked me over, and I almost fell off the table. And uh, when I came came out of this shock, she stepped back. She quit doing whatever it was that she was doing. She stepped back. <laughs> 
as if to say, okay, of course, <laughs> okay. we have no insignificant nice. thing. We're going to try this ear way. Image after image, thought after thought, visualization after visualization. This guy looks like my cousin. Just broke my head. <laughs> It was then that I realized whatever this thing was, it was way more. Yeah, now apparently now they have hair. He has that experience. He calls you. Uh, up. They he that? never made it to coast to coast. Oh, they they thought he was too much of a nut job dream. to put him on even coast to coast. Said, but, but somehow he got on Netflix. And how did he know that Eddie was his daughter? Did he go to Maury? My hair's all off my wrist. Wait, hold on. What? How did he know the alien girl was his daughter? Did he go to Maury? Because um no because the the funny enough Audrey called him and told him oh yeah, Audrey oh, called and said so you are cold. the star seed Stan Romanek thank you for impregnating our alien lady that 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 whole scenario so they called him on the phone and they're like hey man you got to pay the 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 child support up here for your little alien daughter and he's like <laughs> alien daughter what so I have oh. these. He soars on my back. Taking the Mori. I was trying it's to collect the Mori. The analytical one, you know, it's like there has to be a reason for it. This might it be when she starts talking about that him. Aliens came in and abducted you have to remember, him. he has a wife on Earth, though. So and he's, he's like, well, I know it was a dream. It was a dream. In order to have the baby. Aliens aren't real. And then he called me he's back. Not, he's not he's doing like, her. I'm, I'm going to go. And he he knows, she knows all about it. It, it wasn't a dream. I know it wasn't a dream. I fell apart. I started crying and shaking and freaking out. It's like, oh my God, because it made it real. It made this whole thing real. Yeah. This Spare. really happened to me. Springer oh, doesn't no. Do right no more. This is the stuff All I can't. This stuff is. You know, when Deborah took me through the regressions, I started reliving all the pain. I started vividly remembering everything, every nuance, every sound every painful experience everything that happened Yikes. the most profound thing that happened to me was the part that um i started writing down these symbols that i had <laughs> stuck in my head sure oh. and so do you remember what do you remember oh i said i have these symbols in my head i have these weird so now he's uh things in my head she yeah he's everything he's, he's Shia everything man a big pad of you uh, remember where paper. he was writing all the symbols <laughs> And yes. um, I think this guy is literally <laughs> and I just uh, the next. He's like the prophet. I remember the symbols really clear. How do you, can you describe Oh, them? God, I can write them down. Oh, for God. You. I can do it right now. Watch. Do, 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 do. Symbol, symbol, symbol. Carrot. <laughs> I like how he has to like stay in this little <laughs> trance with his trance that eyes. That I got in my head. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the, the interesting, the, oh, now the interesting thing the about the equation, the, oh, the, 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 the interesting that actually is a real equation, which is funny because it's like an equation that we haven't figured out. Uh, it's the equation that I think it's called the Drake equation, which the scientists write out to figure out how much life, if life, um, the theory to find out if there's life in the galaxy other than us. And for some reason, he like writes it down. And but and people are like, how the hell would he know that and stuff? But that's like the one thing people think is really interesting about him. But dude, you can just memorize that and just write it down and not even know what it means. Like, yeah, right. it's crazy. So it's a real it's a real equation. It's not gibberish. People are just trying to figure out why the hell he knows it. But but that's what that ex explanation for that segment is. But people are trying to figure out why he keeps writing the Drake equation down and adding times 10 to it. Or times a hundred. So there's one hundred, one hundred times more the possibility than what scientists have already said that there's a possibility that there's life outside the galaxy. Except he writes the same exact equation and adds a hundred to it or something. I but here we go. Let's but, not do that. Yes. My I'm, first, oh God, one hundred percent human beast. Um, really was about. I think seeing who I was, maybe seeing how I developed. I'm not sure. The abduction experiences after that seemed to involve reproductive stuff. They're oh really fascinated with our reproductive. Oh God! Here we go. And fa fascinated with my our penis genetics for some reason. They're fascinated with Stan Romanek. Or maybe wiener. they're manipulating our genetics. In my case, I think the latter is <laughs> just is. more true. Keep your little two inches away, Every boy. Every time I'm up there, I'm a camera. with. A woman. Uh, Welcome, the camera. Woman. Sorry for that comment and, right when you um, just joined. My bad. Usually it's the same one over the years. It's always been the same one. Gosh. 
bad timing all around. So are the two of you together? Or so we are together. together. We're the, together. Okay. And this we're is side by side, and we're being led into this other vehicle or room or okay. Ew. after they did whatever it was that they were doing, <laughs> checking us out or whatever. What? Um, are you kidding me? They brought me? me and this woman into this room. And then what happens next as you're taken into I uh, cheated on my room? wife. Life she know, my wife. She had big boobies, and I was just like, "All right, alien I'm baby, pro. do it for the alien movie." I mean, baby. The <laughs> <laughs> ladies like start again. That space mask. Starts hugging. This is so. Wow. This this part is disgusting, dude. I. Looks, this is like the I one part that I feel bad, really, really bad about. His wife has to like go through this. This asshole what is cheating on her and like lady, making up an excuse that it was for hand, alien and children. Seven seven children all, right. all together. They were that's so varying messed up. Ages varying, um, sizes varying. You know. Some of them look more human, some of them look less human, <laughs> some of them had hair, some of them didn't. Um, hey, apparently there's gold and silver on other planets, so they you know, can't pay us in gold or silver. You see that, William? Yep. Yeah, I like Bilal Muhammad. Every single time He's a, a killer, this. man. I don't this know any of these, these cool new names. Girl. Comes up to me and hugs my leg, and I'm looking at the uh, beautiful little. I'm gonna put that link in the chat one more time. I'll pause it really quick just so I don't people are paying attention. Um, I'm gonna post the link to the panel in the chat once again. So if you guys would like to join the panel and uh, provide some live commentary with us as well, feel free to. And uh, here it is, right here. And, uh, Whoever said Nicholas Cage thing, I was gonna say it, but then I was like, no, I already said he looks like Tom Green. But yeah, when he's on the couch, <laughs> he looks like Nicholas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and once again, uh, a major shout out to Roseanne. Thank you for uh, helping send people over here. And once again, if you are watching in the Tupac Corner Hunter stream, please head over to this one. The link is pinned in the chat. And you guys are doing awesome right now. 27 out of 33. Thank you. There's still about five of you who are still over there, but Being thank stubborn. you guys for making your way over here. We, we have pretty, no, not even. It's just yeah, we got sometimes, 32 people over here. It's just some people don't want to have to like follow. There shouldn't be like three different instructions you have to follow to watch a stream. So I understand what people think sometimes in the back of their mind, but this is the easiest way we can do it at the moment. And we thank everybody for taking those steps to join us here. And uh, let's continue uh, with this crazy, crazy man. And currently, <laughs> right now in the story, he's uh, on an alien spaceship with his, I don't think he's with his wife. I think his wife is still at home sleeping. He meets this woman on a spaceship. They take him into a room. Things ensue. And I realized that <laughs> where's my sellers and the summary, it looks like I love the summary. and she's Thank beautiful. But appreciate that. She's different. As long as you're here. Because it's all about the eyes. She has these huge oversized almond shaped slants. <laughs> so blue they're almost violet eyes. Jeez. Beautiful blonde hair. And she's just clinging onto my leg like please. Hey William, can you make a uh, go? The camera blue. Yes. You don't want to leave who behind. Oh, oh my babies. gosh. What are you feeling right now besides the fact that you don't want to leave them? They're crying. They're crying. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. He tells you that they're crying. He does look like Nicholas Cage. The children are making you go? No. Take me away from them. Sam basically was reliving. Take me away from my wife. Don't make me go back. Even Jeez. about. Still messed up. I want to start and getting pro. And watch as he physically experienced <laughs> the pain inflicted on him it was very hard. It, it was just heartbreaking to watch. Mary, you're very welcome to camera. The memories he did have. Thank you for joining us. His abduction. Still can't touch us. Yes. The woman that he he remembered seeing her he knew what she looked like what she sounded well, they like. touched him oh my gosh it's so <laughs> sad listening to her describe the lady it's hard for me yeah see you. but oh. during these regressions it Sorry. all this. just came really 
See, she's literally heartbroken. It became a reality for me. She actually, like, loves this guy. Like, I don't know how you can, but she does. And then this guy totally, uh, yeah. Ruins her life and breaks her heart. What a uh, guy. the way he's played toy. Yeah, and Lisa watched me, you know, looking at her, she goes... Yeah, the woman's crazy, too. You know, what's Trust up? Me, she's crazy and for liking him. I know her from still, somewhere. No one deserves to go through that. I think it's in denial more, more than crazy. Now. There's a difference. And then it hit me like a lead balloon. Denial is not only a river in Egypt. Was the just because you're gullible doesn't mean you need to be taken all this taken advantage time. of. Every time I was taken. Hey, Jen, I think this is entertaining. What do you think, Bears? Uh, close friends. <laughs> it got to a point Later. where it was kind of hard for Hello, Lisa Ozzie. because we had this weird connection. Wait, who joined us? In Victoria, this Ozzie. bizarre. Ozzie What's up, Ozzy? I was so wrapped up Ozzie. in the, you know, you case and learning about it can and learning hear what my role was that it, yes, it, it we can hear you, so many ah, things all right, can. around me God, is that the lady he was having really, sexual intercourse with on a spaceship feelings oh my god Victoria. that's so they found her they put her on the documentary i can't watch that this really, <laughs> really really hard for me i didn't know she was on this hey I hit pause so we can say hi to ozzy properly sorry but this is okay ozzy hello welcome hey how are you oh Ozzy, first time talking to you, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been trying to get your phone number, but I keep forgetting to tell you to put it in a chat. Uh, you can't put it in a chat. I know that. I'm only you. kidding. You know what I mean to email it. <laughs> well, I, 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 what we're I, doing. I have a chat. Oh, we're doing here. Good. Let's actually take a we'll, we'll take a quick two and a half minute break from the documentary, and we'll we'll rejoin up with it in about two and a half minutes. So everyone, if you want to grab a snack or something, uh, we'll be right back. But we'll we'll be right here talking. Go but to the we'll, bathroom, we'll, maybe before we'll 20. Documentary up again in about two and a half minutes. So we'll talk to Ozzy for a what second. Do I'm doing <laughs> yeah. Yeah, We got the Numus Maniac. Hello, guys. Welcome. Hi, Numus Maniac. What's up, Numus Maniac, buddy, bro? <laughs> What's going on with Silver Life? I thought he was coming back. Too much. Yeah, uh, he said he was going to get something to eat, so he probably went to uh, Whataburger. Hello. <laughs> oh, oops, that boy probably oops, went to go get man. himself some Kobe beef or something. Where water burger? No, he didn't. <laughs> uh, no, I, don't I know. guess we don't have that out here by us. Yeah, we don't have them in California, but I was talking to Maxwell Silverhammer, and they have one kind of close to him, and he lives in Arkansas. Please, please click on. Don't the do it. Button. Let's go to In and Out, guys. <laughs> Once again, we don't have any In and Outs over, over here. here. Oh, oh I want to <laughs> Hey, and Ozzy, your volume's a little low. All right, let me crank it up. Oh, yes. And Perry Martin. Uh, How's that? Shady McGravy. Uh, That's about the same. William, can you turn up this mic? Maxwell, I don't have to watch my fucking mouth on this one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, one second. I mean, one. Edit mics, and the newest and... maniac, what do you think about this so far? Uh, I had a full dinner, my volume's right up. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy, uh, if you could just say something really quick. Oh, he lost this. Oh, we, we lost this. I, I haven't watched anything this entertaining since Reefer Madness. Awesome. <laughs> oh God! I'm glad you guys are. I, I'm glad you guys are. I've watched that it. before. It is. The I knew this was going to be kind of a fun ever. watch along. <laughs> it's so outrageous. It's just fun to experience it with others. It is. Yeah, it's good definitely different. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Nice. And I just put that link up on the chat again if you'd like to join the panel. Uh, you can only click the link if you are on the West Coast Collectibles channel. So if you're currently in the other stream, please click on the link pinned in the chat and uh, head over here. Come on. We got a nice. bunch of people. Come on, Welcome hey. back. And hello, Kathy. Welcome. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Hi Kathy. guys. Hey. hey, speaking of Kathy. Uh-oh. Like the blue hair. Oh. It's the round house of destiny. Round did, house. Did you like how I taped up all the corners and everything? I like that. That's all taped up really well. There was no reason for something one to go and split that. Yeah. So, I do the uh, same to my envelopes, Kathy. Pardon me, yeah. hon? I do the same thing to my envelopes. It just it's, it it makes sure that if they tampered with it, it's very evident. Yes. 
So we're going to go ahead and open this up real quick so we can show Ooh, uh, everybody um, another prize that's going to be on the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank I'll you so watching. much, Kathy. Hey, and Kathy. Um, I was on your thing know. yesterday. Yeah. And um, people should know who's um, going to try to rip you off. And I agree with you. That's yeah. that's not right for people to do like that. Well, you know, here's Absolutely. the whole thing. I honestly believe I've tried all the venue of going behind. Okay. Is that what I gave you? I don't know. This is what you sent. Let's go ahead. Uh, will you can you blow this up? Uh, yeah. Give me one. There you go. Nice. Oh, dude, that's oh, that's pretty. Turn it on the other side. Isn't there or something else on there? Oh, Ooh, yeah. Fancy. It's true. That's what. I MS seventy. Very nice. That is nice beautiful. Do those Aussies know how to do the eagle? Oh yeah, that is, that is gorgeous. Maybe I want that back. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be another one of the prizes in our thousand subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much, Kathy. That's yeah, Kathy. so awesome. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. So cumulatively, it's five ounce, one ounce, one point six. We could be giving almost ten ounces of silver away during that, <laughs> that stream. And that's just the beginning. Here's what Maxwell Silverhammer has donated. Oh, it's going to be wild. Five wow. Troy ounces. Look at that. We're going to get wet and wild. And you keep. Um, I should have sent you gloves. I should have sent you freaking gloves. Look at all those fingerprints yeah, on there. Yeah, you should. I can't yep. believe you. <laughs> she every look, time how, you touch it. look at how many dents <laughs> there are. I know. Thing. And you're making DNA it do it. worse. It's a crying shame. <laughs> and, well, this one is protected. Yeah. And if Ooh, it was muscle a... shells, you would be saying it was protected Ooh. by a shell. Thank God. Thank God I gave you one that's protected. That's gold. Hi, everyone. And this is going to be the, in the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. This is a surprise. Yeah, thank you. And thank, thank you, you so much. Kathy. Thank you, everybody that's yeah. donated. Um, sure. I even gave you a card. Jose Alejandre. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. We got some. We got some stickers. Oh, nice. Sorry, <laughs> my, my stickers are too small. Is that a lawn, is that a lawn gnome? Ones. With a guitar. That's got to be a lawn gnome, right? That's a, a gnome with the guitar. That's awesome. Dark uh, Green Marine, hello, welcome. I thought Hi, Dr. Like Marie. Thank you for I joining. I you're in the other stream, and we're not. We can't. We can't. We're usually not talking to the acknowledging the other stream, but Dark Green Marine just had to say hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Thank Hide you for your crayons. Hide your crayons. Nice. Uh, all right. And come on over to our regular to our yeah, this, uh, uh, new channel stream. Well, the I just got to go. Can we get Dark Green Marine to come up on the panel? Gotta work out my thighs. I'll see you guys later. I'm sorry, Roseanne. <laughs> I can't work for I'm sorry, Roseanne. Rip the thighs out, bro. Yeah, Roseanne's been a, a saint tonight helping us uh, over oh, on the other chat, sending people over here. So much. Can't thank you enough. And even though she's watching this uh, you, it's massive UFC event going on tonight, which I understand if anyone's watching it, it's, there's some good fights. So thank you for uh, splitting body your time. Body slam, out. body slam, thank body you. blow. <laughs> uppercut, uppercut. All right. So, uh, 420 right, time? Can... Yeah. Okay. So, we'll do, we'll, we'll start the break now. So, the two and a half minute break starts now. We'll, we'll get back into the documentary in just a, a minute or two. But if you leave too, and I'm just sitting here by myself on cam, okay. I'm having a cigarette. So, I didn't want to, uh, you know, uh, you can on this channel. This is, uh, yeah, you can do whatever you like. I mean, if you don't want to on cam, that's completely understandable too. I completely understand. Yeah, I don't even like vaping on cam. I, uh, yes, everybody, I do vape. I just don't like doing it on stream because it's you know. I feel like <laughs> Robert. Well, oh, I Robert. Robert. There we go. See, I I thought I thought no, I'd be Mr. I can smoke on this channel. 
Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Robert. Okay. This this is not a kids friendly channel. Everything is, is outside cool. of my reach. I have all kinds of stuff. Uh, and if uh, you guys are seeing what he's wearing, uh, that shirt that he's wearing came courtesy of Miss Southern Belle. Thank you, Miss Southern Belle. I actually popped up on the stream earlier when we were in here, and I was wearing the same damn shirt. And I'm like, oh man, we're wearing the same shirt again. <laughs> I like it's gonna look weird if we wear the same shirt again on the same. Well, no, these shirts are great. Wow. Oh, I love them. I love them. I, man. I was get. I was ready to wear it. Well, what size shirts you do? Because I make tie dye shirts too, and mine are different mm. from her kind of tie dye. I like well, tie dye. I, I like them. I love them. I I um the only shirts I have right now are long sleeve. Yeah. Um, if anyone ever, if you ever like to send something, I would definitely love to wear. Them. I will. Okay, now listen. All I have of white shirts right now to tie dye are the um, 2X or 3X, and they're long sleeve. But you can cut the sleeves off. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll figure something out. It doesn't matter. It's the most important thing is it came from you, and that's why I'm going to wear it. So, okay. I will hey, send you. Yes, dear. So, can you tell me about the details about this girl? What's she trying to do to you? Every Saturday, oh. Jenny. Okay, see, here's the thing. You know, you know I have a big heart, okay? And um, what happened was, is there that she borrowed $250 off of me, okay? Said, I'll give it to you at the end of the month or beginning of the month. And she wanted it to go see her boyfriend a couple states over which was a weekend thing in that um, when I contacted her to get the money, she says, well, I don't have no money and you can't get money out of someone that don't have no money and all this and that. And I says, I said, okay, can you do $25 a month? Okay. Well, I don't have no money. Well, then she had all these people come into my chat on the very first, um, I call them the mod squad. They, they police everybody's channel. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And they jumped me on the first one. Well, on the second one, they had more come in and jumped me. But she oh. refused to pay the 250 back. And uh -oh. she blocked me. Now, mind what? you, I already had contacted her email. Um, I called her. I uh, did um, video chat with her. I did backroom, uh, you know, this kind of uh, a stream yard, but back room. I um, pleaded with her. I said, please, you know, I don't want to bring you out, but you know me. I will bring you out. I'll call out a bully. I'll call out people who are not correct. You know, I mean, like, why should you suffer? Or something that could be prevented. Now, my example was, I don't know if you, you all are not um, familiar with the retail, but there was a guy named Fluffy. He lived over in uh, in Scotland. Okay. I love being so like right here. I didn't hear all that, but that's okay. Uh, uh, William wrong, he goes. <laughs> He, put the microphone down. he robbed 60 people. He got me for $1,200. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And then nice no, one, no one believed me. No one. And I kept showing the paperwork and all that. It wasn't until some major, bigger people were getting scammed and it got to find out there were 60, over 60 people. Jeez. Rocked. Yeah. So my yeah. thought is always to be honest and tell people. You know? Oh, yeah. They had somebody in the coin community that ripped off a bunch of people that um, and I'm one said, of them. said that um, his family was suffering. They had um, the COVID and he was selling all of his coins to um, help out his family. And um, um, Steeler Stacker actually apologized to all of his 
subscribers Damn. and stuff. We're sending them over to that um, auction. And I heard that that guy actually got arrested and is in jail yeah. for uh, robbing the community. Yeah. Well, he got me for like 400 In my yeah. day, I would have had him drawn and quartered. Yeah, I know. That's what I would have done. I, 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 I want a hat. I want to let me a, let me say a hello to a B squared constitutional Andrew Brandt, grumpy old dude, and David Baca. Hello, sorry I missed you guys. Welcome. I think and this. we appreciate it. Ozzy, it's nice putting a face to the name. Yep. Yes, he's a real, real hey, Ozzy. Nice man. Is he frozen? I don't know if he can hear us. I think he's for. Oh no, I seen his eyes moving. Yep. Nope. Ozzy. Ozzy. Sure and this is awesome, guys. 42 people in here watching. We Thank you so much. We do have 12 people watching the other stream, though. So I will drop that link one more time to this to this proper stream on the West Coast Collectibles channel. And, Hi, uh, Poppy yes, Poppy. If you'd like us and to I, read some of your did, comments. I did go into it. Can you? My bad. Okay, Sorry. do you want to see what I got lately? No. Wait, what? Is that, another, is that a meteorite? Yo. Meteorite. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. It looks like mm -hmm. Aramaic to me. I don't have one of those. Meteorites, yeah. I'm thank jealous. you, Robert, for mine, man. That's awesome. I, got I, have, I don't have any. I've never had anything like, Hi, like that before. How are you? Thank you. That is awesome. That's cool just to have and be able to say I have and show it to people. Because I have stuff like that. Oh, you should do a little giveaway. Give away for a Just give it to me. Just give it to me. That is a very nice thing. I you love, love <laughs> moon stuff. I love you gotta, space. You, yep, you got to find a different way of asking. Saying give it to me is the wrong way of saying it. <laughs> it hey, hey, Kathy's Corner, for you sending this uh, to us for our... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm only joking, guys. No, I really this, am only joking. This is coming to you. No, 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 no. Right. I, I was only joking. I really, I really was going to give one joking. away, and I'm going to give one away. This one's coming to you. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. giving to our – that was awesome. That really was so was. awesome of you. Really I mean, we, we are – I mean, I've only known you for a few weeks. And you've and, been absolutely incredible. Yeah, and you donated this incredible piece yeah, to our been, channel. You've that been very helpful. Awesome. Thank, couldn't thank you enough. Very, very, very yeah. well, kind of you. I think that... <sighs> thank you so much, Kathy. No problem. Yeah, every, everybody sitting here watching us right now, even we got 40 people in here watching a dumb alien documentary, just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for showing support to the channel and just being here with us. It's awesome, guys. And the fact that you guys even want to send stuff to give away to help out the channel, it's very, 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 very humbling. And we can't thank you guys enough. It's absolutely Here's awesome. Ozzy. Okay. Ozzy, can but you hear us now? Just because uh, everyone's yeah. in here at this time now. Why do you keep pushing off this damn plate? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. You're too handsome to do that, too. Uh, Hi, guys in the chat. The aliens are coming back. Okay, we'll do this in about 30 seconds or so. Are you guys always <laughs> ready for some more alien stuff? Yes. I am king of Earth. Right, alien so, uh, stuff. And then this, <laughs> our next pause, uh, we'll let uh, Vader's go ahead and do a meteorite giveaway. Definitely. Um, Jeff, I can't on this channel. I'm not uh, monitor. I'm, I'm not uh, Blue Wrench. So someone put up my. Link. Hey, William, William, can you make Kathy a mod so she could drop her link? Uh, yes, I can. I'm just trying to figure out how to. Well, redo that's this the thing. thing. I don't know how on this channel. I don't have it. A... Yeah, hold on. So he'll give you. A yeah, link. you just have to. You have to um, comment in the West Coast collectible thing, and then I. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm trying to get to here. Wait a minute. Sure. No problem. Take your time. Once I see, I'll. Uh, oh. West I, what? Uh, huh? West Coast collectibles. The link is in the. West it's Coast Collective actually yeah. pinned in the chat. Can you hear me okay? Pinned in the chat. The channel. All right, so how am I going to do this again? Um, okay, so I'm going to go not full screen it. We're going to go like that. Yeah, right there. Nice. Now, is there a way I can go from side to side, opposite direct? 
I is it go, a palm tree? Go. No. Hey, what you have to do is uh, go in our our stream, and it'll can be just, pinned at the top. Can I just okay, the one link? second. I'll just put the link in the chat. The link is, boom, right there. Yeah, but I can't get to that until I get to the stream. Let's oh, see. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Dumb. Wow. <laughs> William, wow. Okay. William, Earth is closed today. Who yes. said it? Earth is closed today? Yeah. It's a um, Marvel movie. It's Who a Marvel it? movie? If yeah. it's Captain Marvel, I'm pissed. No. No. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Earth Iron is closed Man. today. Who created okay. Thanos I found in them? It. I Who found created it. Thanos in them? Wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. So it is Iron Man. Yes. Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it is Tony. Yeah. Thank you for the assist. Uh, I just had to make sure. On the street too, right? When they're coming down on the main yeah. street. Yeah. Earth is closed today. <laughs> oh, her grumpy inside those slabs are uh, meteorites. Thank you, Roseanne. For an unanimous decision by Bilal Muhammad. That was the Damian Maya fight, right? Yeah. Wow, he. Wow, that's probably a grappling fight too. And he there, I made a Damian. comment. Awesome. Yep. Hello, Kenneth Goodson. Yes, you are, and thank you. Appreciate that. And there's Kathy right there. Hi, Kenneth Let's Goodson. See. Thank you. No need to be us. confused, Kenneth. You are here, and you are good. And once again, I will, once before we uh, head off into this, how many people do we have up here right now? Uh, we got 38. Uh, I mean, uh, on the panel, two, four, six, seven. Okay, so we have three Am more Am I on the wrong chat? Show. Kathy, you dropped your link on the on the Tupac channel, huh? No. No, she dropped it in here. No, oh, she didn't. Was... She dropped oh, it in the Tupac did? one. Yeah, she dropped it in the Tupac one. All right, yeah, so Kathy. Go to the top of the chat and click the link. Oops, I put on all again. Dang it. Sorry, Roseanne. But I mean, uh, Roseanne's going to kill me for that. I'm in this chat room. It's actually both chats are combined. Yeah, both chats are combined at the moment. So you just have to click on the um, the pinned message or the link that I keep posting on the West Coast Collectibles Reviews and Retrospectives. And something just happened to my computer. Okay, there we go. Wait a second. Here. Uh, well, get out of it, yes. Hey, Roseanne, can you drop it again? Oh, Somehow. yikes. All right, I'll do it one more time. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Smash, pop, and bang. Here we go. All right, so uh, we're going to head. Hello, Coin Collecting Casanova. But I'm pretty sure I already said hello to you earlier. Hint, hint. <laughs> oh, there we go. I see it. No. I just right. want to make sure yep, there I'm you are, sure Kathy. I subbed already, but yeah, I can uh, see your I can see your uh Yeah, it's right here. I got you it. Link, Kathy. We Boom. got it. Boom shakalaka. And that's not Kathy on on the on the screen either. That's that's a crazy lady. <laughs> <Not Kathy. laughs> That's she nice, his wife. She's a very nice, sweet woman, and she's somewhere down at the bottom of my screen. She's a crazy, right nice lady. Is. <laughs> that Thank KK is a crazy one. <laughs> Don't piss uh, KK off. Okay. All right. Okay, how many ladies do we have in the chat? I would say Not at least eight or seven. Seven or eight. Ooh. Thank you, Jeff. So when least... they're done giving their giveaway, I'll give a giveaway. Oh, did you guys want to do one right now before we re re go into this, or should we just go into this and then when we come back? Go do what you need to do. I'll think well, about uh, what I want to give away. All right. Yeah. Let's another, go back into this for a few. All right. So here we go. Uh, we'll, uh, so the summary right now, right. this is his wife. She's currently talking about how she's sad about how he's cheating on her with some lady on a spaceship and they had a baby. And now she's, yeah. She's, she's <laughs> I don't like it, but if it's for the cause and, and, and if he's really that important, I guess I'll just let him do it. And this is where we are. God. And in some ways, I prayed that he never found her. And let's bring her down right now. Come on down, Samantha. Because for no. Oh. That's sad. 
for six years. I worried. What would happen to me? As his wife. And then McCammer. when it happened. As soon as we come back, McCammer, we'll definitely All do my that. fears started to. And thank you, McCammer. I'm sorry. I materialized. <coughs> it was like this new courtship. It, it reminded me very much of when Stan and I met. The <laughs> hours of conversations. And Yikes. they had a connection <laughs> that sucks via seven so children bad. that Stan and I didn't have. Oh, she can't even get there pregnant were some either? Instances where Stan oh my and I gosh. Would have a deep converse, be in a deep conversation and it's like she couldn't put a wedge through us because we were so focused on, on this scenario that we were involved in and trying to learn more about it so i think there was you know there was jealousy this is even worse than i thought it was from probably just knowing that stan had had experiences with this woman me up there <laughs> victoria and i i mean we wait some i just spots got it where... oh that's her God. that's the girl he's sleeping with on the spaceship. my jealousy oh, okay. and my anger so so the the backstory is that lady they just showed showed up at showed up at an alien convention he was speaking at and what he did was he pointed at her in the crowd he's like, oh my gosh I recognize you, you're the woman and all of a sudden for some reason she remembers it now after he pointed her out in the crowd, so now that's that's the lady he's on the UFO with so boom and they oh, so suddenly she's she's well, guys, she's there. And now, and now, okay. Yes. So we're having intergalactic babies, so it's okay for exactly. me to sleep her uh, uh, with her down here. Now exactly. that I slept with her up there. Yeah, he pointed her out in the crowd and said, "Hey, you're the girl I'm sleeping with on a spaceship." And she uh, bought it, hook, line, and sinker. And now uh, they're sleeping together. And this lady is heartbroken. Her was very Did evident to anyone her? in that house. <laughs> We'd get together. So and it's the like a Jerry Springer alien and documentary. Oh, yeah. this is definitely survive. a Jerry Springer I mean, type of movie. Oh, that sounds great because. It's when I, Dude, I just can't believe what he's hearing. It's oh, you're imagining it. Oops. It's like don't put it off that I'm imagining anything. I see what's going on in my house, and I'm not okay with it. I, I don't know how I would have acted, but she you're she now. always held now. herself in complete poise in class. And I mean, there were a couple instances where she she you was know, jealous get, of my perfect you know, eyelashes and my like super hurt tight or bothered, pink top. especially if he and I would go off to the side and be in this deep conversation and Jeez. she'd be looking for him and we're sitting out in the front yard talking. And then I started understanding not liking it obviously, but understanding that <laughs> here's these two people clicked. that were put together in these terrifying experiences. And they needed each other to to figure out what had happened. Oh, lady, I'm sorry. I just wanted them to do it around everybody else, you know, not so closed off. So my jealousy wasn't. Oh my gosh! Like crazy. If you guys are asleep and, together, do I wasn't a room worried full of constantly people. that tomorrow is the last day of my marriage. <laughs> what she has gone through is Oy, such um... a difficult. <laughs> okay, lady, you, don't, you don't have to tell and me that. She has been able to do it with grace and keeping her head on and keeping her I'm a psychiatrist. What this lady's going through is very, very bad. I could not tolerate tolerate. Uh, I have Amen. never doubted that my husband loves me more than anything else. And he knows that, you know, obviously I'd give my life <laughs> to support him. You know, it's That's kind of I would never no. lie for him. No, no don't give your life for him. him. The hell? I'll back him up Dumbass. when he tells his story when it's true. Dumbass. Alien sister wife. Otherwise, I call him out on it. It's that's like, no, that's not when it happened. That making me stress. No. I know, Dude, right, it, DJ? It's so it's sad. Right. You can tell that she's right, I won't. It's sad. She's very jealous. <laughs> so nothing that has happened. <laughs> Drunken sex field alien orgy. Nothing, nothing that he has shared with you or anyone else is fabricated. Hold on I a second. Would Wait, not... Let me rewind real quick. <laughs> they screwed up and asked her if he's faking it. I want to see her reaction. Really so nothing that has happened in any way, shape, or form in his life and to you has been fabricated. No. 
Nothing. Well, looked off to the side twice. Nothing that yeah. he has shared with you mm-hmm. nice. or anyone else. One more time. Is fabricated. I would. Oh, not... it is. Lightning's gonna strike. I. <laughs> <laughs> right. There could be Beavis and Butthead after they got out that church. Yeah. <laughs> I would. If if I thought Stan was lying There's about left. any of this, making any of it up, Can I would have walked away. With that you, bro. Wow. Well, she's no gullible. Is she, is yeah. She's either gullible I, I or in on it. I can't tell because she seems so uh, he's passionate. Not lying. Like, she doesn't seem like no. she's lying. You, when you no, she's lying. And the person is undergoing I don't trial. Know. I, everyone else and in this documentary the person, definitely I, is. You know, has, well, has she's having these threesomes contact. with him. In other words, this him, is a right? of aliens. No problem, this right? is physical marks and mm-hmm. physical problems and physical uh, interaction. That's all I gotta the say on that. That's closest to no you, problem, Ozzy. Uh, knows whether you're 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 lying or not, and she is <laughs> actually she and the family, <laughs> all yeah. the family, um, know that this is a real phenomenon. Now, whether yeah. some of it has been done to him to confuse him, and half of it is is uh, disinformation, or some of it is copycat, we don't know that, but we know some of it is real. Do I believe everything <laughs> guy. You know, that's happened to him? Absolutely not, because I can't investigate everything Chuck Zagowski, that's happened to this him. guy. But I'll tell you what, out of all the things that Isn't he's Isn't that where James Kirk fought for him? Even if you believe 40%. <laughs> nice. <laughs> kind of looks like it, yeah. That's enough right there. Just that 40% is, is, is enough to, uh, you know, huh? to, to believe what? that, you know, he's an actual abductee. Is someone saying William? Yeah, pause it real quick. Oh, yeah, pause sorry. It. My bad. What's up? <laughs> Where's my silver? You're horrible. So that I can go and start my stream. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that for you, Robert. Let's go, hey, Robert. Over here. Me, huh? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Robert, what's up? My bad. Sorry for holding you up. He's, uh, he's had a to number. Get... He's, he's been holding that thing for like half yeah. an hour waiting for us to. I apologize. I didn't know you were in such a hurry. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Oh, yeah. Our stream starts at 920. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, how do you want to do this? Do you want to put the clue in it, or do you want me to put the clue in the chat and then you hold on to the number? Or because we have a lot of people in here, so I don't know if we could do private or not. I'll, I'll pipe it in chat. That way, everybody, even all y'all, can get in on it. Okay. All right. So this is courtesy of Mister Vader's. 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 Oh, yeah, me. And, all right. And also, Robert, you're gonna have to drop. You have to drop the link for uh, for the love of jerky. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And once again, Robert, we're always up for a duo stream too in the future, and anybody else too. If you ever want to have like a hangout stream, we have the ability to uh, multi-platform stream now, so oh, we can do cool. that. You'll have to teach Ooh. me that. Yep. Yep. Streamyards yeah. makes it really easy. It's just uh, you have to pay for it, unfortunately, but. But I think if we have it, then if we're if we're the um. One's oh, doing the multi stream thing, then we could uh, set it up right correctly. Oh, snap. I didn't even see what was going on. I did. Oh, damn. I'm way behind. Right. Oh, at number. Pick a number 350. Okay, so it's 350 and 400. Nice. <sighs> and this is oh, Robert's so we're number. number. And Robert will let you know as soon as he sees it. And thank you, Robert. All right, we got a winner. Probably my three fifty five because that's the number I would have picked. <laughs> no, I've got I've got David Baca. Nice. David Baca. Three fifty seven. Oh, yep, that's a good number. Oh. That's the number. That's yep. the number you Congratulations. Picked, that would have got in. Congratulations, wow. David. He stepped into my house. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. That's and the that... number they receive if they walk in your house without permission. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you and Babe just got the same ammo. Oh, snap. Uh, he go to goon. Nice. Nice. All right. Nice. Sweet. Uh, I want to give, I I want to give my, mine and, away, too. You guys can go for boys. Uh, you can give it to your girlfriends or whatever. And once yeah. again, if you guys want to get in on these little giveaways that we're doing right now, make sure you head over to the West Coast Collectibles stream. You want to click on the link that's being posted in the chat right now if you want to get your number in there or letter. 
And uh, if we if we uh, if you want us to see it, you have to join that link right there. And uh, thank you, okay. and Siren Silverstash. Thank you. Sorry. What does that mean? I know. I'm not sure. I'm not Oops. sure. Oh, whoa! Rubber cut. Wrong person. Whoa. Yeah, I was whoa. trying to. I was trying to blow her up. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was wondering what was happening. Okay. You okay, up. you'll get you'll get this wallet. Oh snap! What happened? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, go. So we can all get our live reactions of your super cool giveaway. Okay, here you get this wallet with it. <laughs> Those okay. bug flies? Wait, this is coming huh? with it? Yeah. This is right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Hope you guys are listening. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it, Gordy. That's that. Look at the celery, Gordy. Look at it. Okay. It's a it is a used purse. What? But, a bought used. but it is real leather. Oh my it gosh, Kathy. Good, You're awesome. In good condition. Let's see. I'll try to get the and it is a brand name. And it's called Fossil. It's one hundred percent leather. Nice. One second. That's, an, that's a namely brand. Yeah. I think it's made in Italy, but I'm not 100% sure. But nice. it has the part. outside pocket. For us women who like to have pockets to make sure we separate our cash from our other stuff. But, okay. Um, and then the inside pockets. And then there'll be a coin put in there because you can't give a purse without money starting in the purse. Nice. That My auntie awesome. would, would, would keep money in all her purses. She said if there was no money in a purse, that it was bad luck. Yeah. Frick yeah, Daniel. I'd rock that purse. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It is a handle one. Plus. It's a purse. A purse. A man purse. Or too. you can it's have it. Uh, you make shoulder it. Uh, what is that called? Uh, cross shoulder strap. Pockets. No. Co uh, shoulder strap and a cross um, body car. Well, whatever you would have right. body car. your spear pockets. Hmm. Yeah, lots and lots of pockets. Sweet. You got your outside pocket. Hello, can't I say right? The name brand is Fossil. And it's zipped. Fossil. Fossil. You got... Fossil. Fossil. You got... Fossil. Inside pockets, you got those little where you can put your uh, cigarettes or credit cards. I put credit cards in that, in these little pockets. You put your cell phone or whatever. Okay. There's a... Yeah, there is a bigger pocket. Oh snap! On the side, Go. and and it smells like leather. And then the big part for the okay. bottles of money. I used so to work at the market growing up, and okay. you know what? That smell of leather. Mm -hmm. I can still remember it, and it brings back so many memories from me working at the flea market as like a sixteen-year-old kid. Mm -hmm. And Robert there's the, the leather jerky thing. Gotcha. Hi, Trixie. Robert, Robert, good luck to you, man. Thank you for uh, joining us tonight, and I hope uh, yep. hope your shindig you, goes guys. successful, buddy. Have fun. See y'all later. Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye, Raiders. We'll have you, Robert. As soon as we're done. Yep. Take care. We'll see you in a little while. All right. Kick, see y'all Kick some butt. Thanks. Hello, Trixie Lee. And uh, Trixie Lee and Kansai Samurai, if you can, please just follow this link. Mm. It'll uh, bring hey. you over to this this stream. And Kathy right now is giving audio. you a super awesome giveaway. So if you want to get on that, you have to be in this stream right here to participate. If you can hear me, I'm going to bounce out and then pop back in here. All right. Yeah, All we, right. Can, we, can, we can. We can definitely All hear right, you. King of, definitely. King of Earth. Okay. I did put the uh, range in the, oh. the chat. And let me find it wait, oh, right wait. there. Okay, so oh, 300 wait. or 350. So yeah. we'll only be seeing your numbers if you guys are in the West Coast Collectibles chat. And as soon as she sees it, she will let you know. And thank you once again, Kathy. And I think McCammer wants to do something after this, too. Yeah. I think McCammer is oh. for his 200 subscriber giveaway. You what? I think that's for his 200 subscriber oh, okay. giveaway. Yeah. The McCammer, if you want to. Put that up i can definitely throw it up on the screen um someone already it. won it uh oh <laughs> somebody already oh, won it oh, oh, there we go 325. 325. Oh. hammer Not even Nick, oh wow talk about 
Talk about nice karma. Camp. Nice, McCamera. Right. Congratulations. Awesome. McCamera, that would be a nice present for your mom. Oh, that's oh yeah. Cool. yeah, that's awesome. Cool. And speaking of McCamera, he is so close to 200 subscribers. So please, everyone, please head over to McCamera oh. and subscribe to him too. Let's he see what's in the drawer. He draws that all kinds of stuff. Down. So if you ever want something uh, drawn for you, that's cool. I'm sure you could uh, talk talk to him about it. But yeah, the camera's <laughs> the camera really says cool. rig. Yeah, rig. Yeah, rig. <laughs> congratulations once again, the camera. Congratulations, the yes. camera. Okay. Yeah, the camera gonna be Let me see. Can't touch one. this, yeah. <laughs> Trixie. Yeah. Okay, this is what it's, uh, the coin that's gonna be put in. Oh, oh, that's gonna be for you, camera. Nice. No, Miss Maniac, I think you'll enjoy this. My goodness. Welcome to Jurassic Park. John Hammond. <laughs> Welcome, John Hammond. It's nice to have you. Thank you. <laughs> so you fueled up the helicopter and made it early tonight. I have. Oh, like that? Yes. Actually, I get my, uh, grab my harmonica and do the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so I have a question, right? Well, on all these, I thank you for joining the stream. On, on all, everything coming from the Royal Canadian Mint, on when 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 we see the the, the Queen, right? It says yeah. it says Regina, DG Regina. Regina. Who was yeah. DG Regina? Yes, she. Uh, Di Grazia Regina. Or, she was a wise woman. Okay. It's right. Latin. Oh, it's Latin for what? Uh, uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember the exact words, but it's along along the lines of uh, Queen and Empress. Well, no, Empress is not Empress anymore. But you can learn more about it at Jurassic Park this summer. Uh, oh, so it's the title. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. I should know it cold, but you know what? I'm old. I look it up. <laughs> it's really leather is the best. And well, I MC, hear from y'all versus hearing it from like you know. You MC, know. you're gonna have to email me with your address in that, okay? Yep. <laughs> she talks yeah. that letter for rich back. <laughs> this is the right time to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> so much Jello in that movie, man! I love that movie. Every time I see that scene where they go to the cafeteria, I always see all those mounds of jello and ice cream. I'm like, <laughs> oh, the ice Trixie, cream, yes. Trixie Lee asks, why are Italian cows leather better? <laughs> why are Italian cows leather better? Hmm. It is treated better than ours. The way they make it? No, it it, it is uh, the. Um, uh, no, we'll be getting into that about another, another they, couple um, minutes. What's the what's the word for it? I know what you where you're talking about. It's um cured. cured? It's cured. cured. Thank you. That's cured. the word I was yes. trying to come up with. Uh, why, do you, why do you never call your dog shark and then take him to the beach? <laughs> Why's that? Because you don't want to start a, a mom. Yeah, so he gets lost on the beach and you're calling his name. Shark! 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 <laughs> oh, that's like, like screaming oh, fire right. at, a, at a theater. All right, all right. <laughs> yes, so gonna... Hello to your buddy Jack on the plane. Okay, so no, Dan, it has not. It's right here on my table. I'll put up the link one more time, and I'll put up the invite link if anyone wants to join the panel for the last two stretches of oh, this Oh, wait! Day. I was gonna say we haven't finished the documentary. Yeah, we're not done yet. We gotta go through. We gotta push. We Hold gotta on. push it. Push it. This real is getting good. juicy. Yeah, this is getting real juicy. We really <laughs> got yeah. Okay. We already saw the evidence and stuff. Now we got we gotta talk about the dudes who are who are backing them up or probing him. And the camera says, "All right." Oh my gosh, really? You gotta change everything I put up on the screen. <laughs> Well, the camera says, I will give away a drawing, some foreign coins, we pennies, an Indian penny, almost 200 subscribers. But what do you consider a foreign coin? It's all based on your perspective. He found it in Canada. It might be a toonie. Then it's, then it's a normal coin. <laughs> <laughs> so depending on what part of the world you're in. It's exactly. Yeah. 
he, exactly. He's not sure he, how he, he caught on. All right, so I'm gonna bring this in. Huh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Where's my silver? I'm fine. Why? Why are you guys saying, Am I okay? <laughs> John wants to have one know happened to the lady that fell in love with Alien. I'm pretty sure she's single now, Mr. Farkas. So you can go on a spaceship and and then piss Roseanne off. There we go. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's light. The camera oh, was oh, 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 on the oh. ground right next to the house. Welcome back, Ozzy. And oh, starts there's... coming up towards where the video camera is bolted to the side of the house. And you see these what look like soap bubbles start okay, flying I'm around. And it almost looks like hail? there's a little bit of steam coming off the grass when the light hits the grass. What? And then pretty soon the, the it could have been video snow. camera was taken out. <laughs> and I came back with a bloody nose. Of course, you had a bloody nose. Blood and it always has a bloody nose. Later that morning, Everything he does, when, he gets a bloody nose. Um, I woke up. Um, I went to go check to see why the cameras didn't, uh, you know, why the cameras stopped working. Tom Green, <laughs> we saw on the if video, this had a child, um, it would be him. You know, this amazing event took place in the. Can you hear me, right? The ground next to the house. Yes, yes, sir. But it stopped working, and I wanted to go see what the heck happened. So I went outside, and oh. I noticed this. <laughs> It's as if where the beam of light hit the camera, oh it cleaned the whole area of sighting. So we power washed like this arc. one. Well, actually, no, maybe we didn't power wash and it. It like literally circle. melted the sighting. Oh, so you can see where some kind of heat warped and kind of browned the sighting a little bit, especially up towards the camera. <laughs> and it also killed the grass below. Now, oh. when they analyzed the sighting, Shady McGravy? Cleaned, maybe. The sighting somehow maybe. Or pulled the dirt out of the sighting all the way through the molecular structure of the sighting itself. What? The very next day, I was going to collect a piece of sighting um, because it was my day off and Lisa had to go to work early. And I woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning because I heard I swear he pounding. just shot the wall with a power washer like once to I create that ring effect. Look and there were two guys had taken down my surveillance camera and laid it in the grass and they were replacing the sighting what? of my house. Interesting. I was pretty upset that they touched my surveillance camera and what the hell are they doing replacing the sighting? They just came to his house I tried randomly? to get a hold of the landlord, but the landlord was on vacation. Dang. And um, Please don't put him in the trunk. Are you doing? Well, your landlord wants us to replace your sighting, so it's, I had no way to check right away, so I let him do whatever. <laughs> What? And I, That's not the I way go, it works. Well, I, I want a they piece don't just of the come to your and house and take it they apart. Really irate. They said, okay. "No, absolutely not. We got to keep every little piece of it because we got to prove to your landlord we we replace the siding." I knew instantly that there was something fishy about that. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to keep the siding. Well, about a not quite hmm. forty Hello. minutes so had passed. The men in black and came and I heard a took the siding from going. his house. Well. <laughs> I came running outside and they were shop vacuuming the yard. And when they weren't looking, I grabbed a piece of siding. Even before then, I went and got my video camera because I wanted to video oh, and the stealing whole siding. I didn't trust what was going on. And it's weird because they wouldn't look at me. I got them to tell me what date it is and made small talk. And they didn't even look at me to see that a video camera going. They just refused. They always had their back to me, constantly trying to turn their back. And when I, I purposely walked around to face them, they'd turn away. And so I grabbed a piece of siding, and after about 45 minutes, they shot back the yard. And I thought they went to lunch and were going to come back. Oh. They disappeared. <laughs> Says Bob siding from Roseanne. Brando in Nebraska on the side of their truck. I just got his arm broke. And all they replaced is where the UFO beamed my surveillance camera. That's it. <laughs> and when I called the landlord, the landlord said, I didn't ask for them to, to side the house. Why are they siding the house? <laughs> I hope they don't charge me. Really? So, and then the investigators looked up Bob's sighting from Grand Island, and there's no Bob's sign. sighting from Grand Island. Bob. No Bob sighting. Nice. You need to keep your mouth shut. This weird <laughs> British sounding voice oh, left gosh. a message for us saying that it wasn't safe to live in Colorado Springs. And you know, I thought somebody was joking around, but uh, honestly, I, I wish they would have listened this because right now. <laughs> not long after that, um, I was riding my bicycle to work because I didn't live very far from uh, where I worked. 
And this black SUV kind of pulled up alongside of me as I was riding and I heard them say something. It's like, oh, great. You know, so some military, some, some uh -oh. military, drunk military types what? trying to start trouble. Because Funny how he, of, uh, just from seeing them once, he can give all these descriptions. Well, I ignored them and kept riding. They were stopped behind a car at a stoplight, so I just went up and over an embankment and went to cruise control? the parking lot where I work. And I was going to go around <laughs> the building to lock up my bike. He's riding his bike. Somehow these guys knew exactly where I parked my bike. Cruise they control. Found you a back way to get they know where they park. They knew where I parked my bike out back. Um, where they cut me off. <laughs> It was a guy and the Excuse passenger me, side gets out of the car and says, you need to keep your mouth shut. What? And I look at him. I said, I didn't say anything to you. And I knew these guys were going to start trouble. And you could tell they were definitely some kind of black. black ah, he got a bullet. He, he started shoving me and I kind of fell off my bike a little bit. And um, he just said he locked up his bike. Alien stuff. And I said. Okay, so I can't shut up about right. this stuff. This that's ridiculous. And hmm. so he started swinging, and then we got into a tussle. I guess he kicked their asses. And I grew up in Southwest. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I, knew I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. He grew up in Compton, um, so he knew he beat how to them both fight. And the, the guy behind the passenger seat, there were four of them all together. Oh my! He kicked all their asses and did all these kung fu karate. Kind of <laughs> oh great! <laughs> That alien movie. He came at me, and like I had a bike chain wrapped around my seat. <laughs> oh my, my gosh! With, and I just <laughs> started wailing at him. You guys, I I killed him. he started and doing he karate moves, so I just hit him, him in the face of the bike really chain. Hard, like, <laughs> or yeah, because you oh grew up God. when you and grew up in Compton, you know karate moves, right? Tense. Yeah, but he said he locked up his bike, and then he said he fell off his bike on my lower back, and I hit the ground. The same total sentence. recall. This, this was going on. And now he hit the ground. By watching he teleported happen. into the garage. Somebody called the police. The police were there. Kung almost. Fu, Black Ops. Oh, geez. People. Within five minutes of these guys picking up their buddy. Wait, what? That's their real? Van, their, no. Their whatever SUV and take He would have looked at the paperwork at the top. It wasn't action. really filled no, out. And that's why I fell to the ground. And... um one uh, person tried to follow that them. That guy's an actor. So there was a news report made and no. ended up with a broken nose. It's Tom Green and, and Nick nose Cage. And, oh, they broke my nose again. Again. You know, I wish I would have listened to that, uh, to that call. Tight club. Tight club. I got so many broken oh. noses. They fixed them. Oh, my gosh. I heard about this one, too. That fixed my okay. This probably was the most significant event for me, out of all of this that's happened so far, I'm still waiting for something more impressive to happen. Uh -oh. It started out Even more I was impressive than the, the, the kitchen alien, house, and I had uh, grabbed for I think it was for a brush to kind of brush the old paint off the eve, and I, I kind of <laughs> off the cave. <gasps> fell off. Oh my gosh, Sheepdog1237 predicted it. He fell off the ladder. Oh my, that's insane. <laughs> wow. He landed on all fours. Under the ground, and I tried to catch myself. He did fall off the ladder. The trouble was, there was a wheelbarrow full of bricks just right there. He hit a wheelbarrow full of bricks. Just in my leg, just right incredible. Where the anterior cruciate ligament in my hamstring of my right leg. Went to the doctor. They told me I was going to need surgery that next Wednesday. I think this happened. I think it happened on a Friday. So I was going to need surgery that next Wednesday. I had to wait through the weekend and everything. So he, Tuesday okay. night, something happened, though. Abducted. Usually when I get taken, what yep. will happen is, uh, for whatever reason, whatever power oh, like or it's whatever nothing now at technology this point. they use, usually when I get taken, blow the circuit switches, every time the blow, blow the breakers in the house. <laughs> so um, Lisa woke up in the middle of the night because I was gone and all the breakers were blown. Probably at the she girl's house, the unfortunately. <laughs> exactly. Else. That's what... Wait a minute, all the breakers uh, were gone? She tried to How find did they, I was the breakers missing. I get, was go I missing? I was nowhere to be found anywhere. <sighs> they, they took she the whole box. <laughs> so my alien <laughs> girlfriend got all the breakers saw that my bone was broken, so on. she fixed my <laughs> bone. <laughs> house and I was they needed yeah, a stupid. He's not getting his predictions. Me. 
I woke up and I was looking for Lisa. In reality, I was already missing, and Lisa was looking for me. <laughs> Knew it. We didn't really give it any any more thought. We didn't give it a second thought, and we decided, you know, we'll just go back to bed. You know, it could have been a fluke. Oh, know. nothing happened. Let's just go back Luke, to bed. Well, the abduction? next morning, Lisa, oh I couldn't work because of my knee, so I was off work, and Lisa had to get up fairly early to get ready for work, so 6 o'clock in the morning, she got up. <laughs> Make me some pancakes, Lisa. Circle Jeez, in my yard. Nice dick. I have a particular and set of skills. It kind of looked like the same That's circle the that we had yards. in our she yard. She has his own crop um, circle. Yeah. 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 Now, what's yeah. interesting is Lisa woke that me is up what the the carpet to come Roomba. look at the circle. <laughs> and she was walking around. The rooms went in circle, the window, and, and they just gathered that. the that grass. Just, That's a great catch. That's crazy. How'd that get there? And Lisa goes, do you notice anything different? I go, yeah, hey, there's I'll a damn circle in our yard. No, do you notice anything different? You saw the breaker for dope. Like, what are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> so she goes, come here. So I walk over to her and it's like, uh, hey, that's more, where'd my that's knee brace more go? Where'd my cast go? More feasible. And how come my knee doesn't hurt They anymore? took his cast off? And how come it's swollen anymore? <laughs> and why in the hell do I have five holes on the back Yikes. of my leg? Oh. The cigarette burns. Yeah. Those, those, are cigarette. Left. those gotta those be cigarette are burns. Marks, my bro. felt my those legs felt worse. Oh yeah. yeah. No, the, but after a while it stretched out. What no the pain. hell is that? No pain whatsoever. Those are track marks. Well, they found my knee brace. It's a, a, is it a coincidence that he got that right after he met that girl? Of the house, exactly right. Into some bricks, <laughs> including the the aluminum rods were all melted. What and bits and pieces of was it that were his found leg in the brace? field behind our house yeah. and some of it on yeah. the burnt his leg brace in a fire and then they threw it in his front yard. Was thrown out of yeah. some <laughs> high place and it just landed on the side of our yard. Well, <laughs> the funny thing is, I had to call the doctor to explain what? why I didn't need surgery. And I remember calling and they I left threw a his leg brace out the window of the UFO because she was off work. She <laughs> called me back. And it landed. Stand, it landed in his house. Because they, stay, they stayed right above and his if house. You don't the get whole this time, surgery, right? You're going to be a cripple the rest of your life. You'll never be able to use that, that leg yeah, again. Yeah, sure. That's not what happened. They said, though. look, I can't explain it. Oh and I wasn't gosh. about to explain that I was taken by aliens and they fixed my leg. There's no way I'd say that to you. are now. I said, I'm just going to <laughs> have guy. to you I don't need surgery anymore. Goes, I would never say that. All right. Never, ever. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm not at the Jenny office McCray, right come now, on, bro. But my associate's <laughs> in the emergency room. Right. I'll call him, set it up. You go see him in the emergency room and he'll tell you the same damn thing I told you. It's like, okay, fair enough. Well, I went to the emergency room and my wife brought a tape recorder and we recorded the whole conversation. And this guy had no idea how <laughs> Definitely it was on a bender. that I went from having a torn ACL to not having a torn ACL. Yeah. And what, what kind of miraculous thing could have done this? That had At to be first, a fake he said those holes in the back too, of my leg right? could be... Yeah. Bug bites, but then there's no rivets in my. He Who said it was bug bites? Oh god! And then yeah. he says, suggest that we call the Ghostbusters to because you're figure out what was going on. And I never said anything about the uh, ET stuff. ET stuff. Assumed. Oh god! Here we go. The best again. Again, oh, back in the window. Video, here just wait till you hear the ex explanation for this. This is the, this is where it gets the weird. Piece of evidence that put me on the map. It's also the one I get the most. Um, what's the word? Uh, Recognition. Uh, most crap for basically. Oh, okay, you know, I thought you were gonna go the other try direction. To, uh, the skeptics just will pick that thing apart. It's just a hockey match. It originally started. Um, I <laughs> I got married moved to Nebraska, um, and I was living in a town <laughs> called Kearney, Nebraska. And I was um, watching TV and got up to get a drink of water when I noticed <laughs> movement outside of one of the windows. And it's like, Oh, my gosh. Why, why are you spoiling it, Roseanne? Come on. Window late at night, and then I, the first thing I thought was, oh, my God, we got a peeping Tom trying to see my stepdaughter. <laughs> This literally went on for months, good three months, maybe four. <laughs> Called the police, neighbors uh, knew I about it. it. Oh, got so thank bad. you. Set up thank you for retracting your message. traps outside. And every time. Come on, you um, ruined it for me, though. We haven't even gotten to the part where his explanation about the other alien in the kitchen is the worst. Nothing. 
nothing. You're going to be like, wait, uh, what did you just say? One day, one of the researchers said, hey, you've got a Sony Hi8 camcorder with night shot on it. Next time you see movement out of one of the windows, put on it, grab your tripod, put on the tripod, point it toward that window and see what, see what you can catch. Well, it, it happened. And I <laughs> grabbed my camcorder and... Spoiling it. Put the camera on the yes. uh, There's a big, tripod and there's a big twist. pointed it toward that window. And I went to the bathroom. I was sitting at the edge of the <laughs> bathtub reading a magazine because yeah, I really guy wanted to catch just... this guy. <laughs> and, I really time to look in the window. and I was reading all sit out on the edge of the bathtub. Of light. Yes. And the, the <laughs> second flash of light was so bright, it almost blinded me. And I had the door <laughs> almost all the way shut. It's like, holy crap. So I look, <laughs> and I kind of duck back, and then I kind of looked again. I see this head pop down, and it's like, yes, I got him. I got him. And watch him I jump. I got the little son of a gun. Woo! And I went to go look out of the window um, oh my to gosh. see if I could see this guy, and I saw what I thought was a small child running toward the backyard. Oh, what? Whatever it was, clipped the bush next to the house and stopped as if it heard me or something and slowly looked back at me what's interesting is i thought it was a full moon because i could i had a real good visual of this this thing whatever it is and come to find out there was no full moon so it might have been something else over our house that night <laughs> okay here we go this is where he, his explanations for things get a little weird i think i was kind of staying away because you my stepson had already? friends over for a sleepover i didn't want him to get in trouble and i woke up because i heard a noise i had one eye open <laughs> I'm sitting there going, I see a naked figure run into my kitchen. I'm thinking, what in the heck is my stepson doing? I thought they, you know, his friends dared him to do something, and I was going to go find my camera. Okay. What? Yeah, there he is. What? Okay. What would, what, okay. If your son is running around naked, your stepson. Stepson's friend that's at a sleepover is over at the house, not his stepson, his friend. Why would you, why would you want to grab the, what makes you think, hey, he was running around naked. Let me go grab the camera. What the yeah. frick? He's what the sex fuck? Offender. To blackmail him. To blackmail him. him on Why are you going to blackmail a child? I went upstairs, and they were still asleep. I kind of woke one kid okay. up, That's opening the door. I said, weird. I heard a noise, and then went back to sleep. Went back downstairs. I'm pretty sure the police sure, watched this a few no, times. There was no, no, nobody messing <laughs> yeah. around with me. I was just about to turn off the camera. Oh my gosh, there it and is. I see this figure looking at me through the sliding glass door. It's a naked alien. Blinking, moving. It's like, that's got to be some somebody in a costume or some kind of puppet or if something. If it didn't do that, it would have looked really I got closer. He closed his eyes slowly. He's over here taping naked and kids and shit. As if he was trying not to Fuck make this a sudden move, he slowly just moved off to the left and disappeared. I'm sorry. This made me mad. It's like, holy crap. So I'm looking outside to see if, you know, there's somebody holding like a puppet or something. Yeah, you. And there's nothing. Okay. I went to the kitchen and there were it's Lisa. maybe three flashes of light that you can see reflecting off <laughs> the, damn, the window of the kitchen. <laughs> and I woke up on the That's what I said when I first saw it too. I'm like, later, whoa. Remember seeing, remembering seeing the flashes of light. I didn't remember actually seeing the being in the Thank window until I looked at the Definitely VCR. rewatching it. The girl Probably by the tree. Having a party up at their home. And uh, oh, we got. I think we what? found the newest Maniac's new uh, impression. One of the things that we try to do is make sure someone is withstand. Uh, you can be a, a so you can pull that guy off and do some crazy stuff with alien stuff that there's a, a witness there. It was raining outside. Juice, and and cold, new cream, more ski cake. Really shocking. grateful for the friends I had when I noticed <laughs> I the one girl stand at the edge of the driveway. Stan had seen the little girl outside. And it was raining. Oh, God. It's like, Victoria, totally look at the little girls out here. And I'm like, Sam, it's probably just a neighbor kid. Just get so in. So this is the alien the child's mom. Raining. You know, and, and it was after that that I said, I will never not pay attention if Stan Romanek says, hey, look at this. This is unusual. I had my porch light on, and it illuminated a, a, the yard up enough that I could see this little girl standing in a gray jumpsuit at the edge of the driveway. She had <laughs> dripping wet hair. And I'm thinking... It's nine o'clock at night. It's raining. This girl's wearing a jumpsuit. What parent in their the right mind would let their little daughter? Yeah, how descriptive out he gets about like children. 
and yeah. why is she wearing a jumpsuit and why is she staring at me? I remember Stan going outside. He said he wanted to go outside for a little while. And it was kind of funny because then my friend Rick comes over and he goes, where's Stan? And I said, <laughs> he ran away he to fake outside. the evidence. Like, is he alone? And oh I my said, gosh. Yeah. I got, like, oh, I better go. No, my friend Stan's looking at the little girl Let outside. Let me know the whenever this happens. He literally ran away from a group of people immediately. to go film it. I was looking for a flashlight. All I had was my camera, and I was using my camera oh, as a flash. Oh, so that, I wanted to see what this, this little girl this wanted, creep. she ran away. He's again. a flasher. Nobody, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was by chance that I, I want to take a picture of a little girl by the tree. Just in time tree, to get a picture with the jumpsuit of her that. looking from <laughs> yeah, behind a tree. Dripping wet hair. behind a tree. Frick. What and I was frick? so Cretan. dumbfounded and amazed by this picture. All I could do was... Oh, God, I can't wait to see this picture. It. Is he going to show it? an odd look on his face. <laughs> yeah, he's an odd look on his face, sorry. He's odd. I'm joking. I said, hey, Stan, how are you? Doing okay? He didn't respond. Show the picture. Looked at, he stared at me. And I was speechless. I couldn't say anything. He goes, Stan, yeah. are you okay? And I just showed him the picture. He goes... Oh my God! Here we go. You have to show everybody this picture. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. When we got back into the there's a website area, specific for that, you I, know. When everybody, <laughs> when everybody listened for a second, I said, "I need everybody's attention right now." Something appeared to have just happened outside, and I'd like every one of oh, you this is to look. Oh my! Are you kidding camera. me? And her eyes were really large. They were very large, mm -hmm. almond shaped. Human eyes, but very, very large. Kilma. It was more than a photograph. She was on top of that camera, emoting emotion. What? Emoting emotion? It was a moving moment. I don't understand. <laughs> Many people just started crying. They didn't know. <laughs> there was something <laughs> so laughter. profound about what appeared may have just happened. Here so this was really strange, and we're all, you know... Kind of freaking out about you're this. You're really, really building up this picture. So I kept telling him, let's get this on the computer. Let's this is going to be a legendary picture. Everybody said, go put it on your computer. Go let's... put it on your computer. Oh, so gosh. Computer. Here we go. I took two steps down. I the bet you it's hazy. My office. Beep. <laughs> yeah. I bet you it's really dark. Disappeared. It's dark. You can barely make it out. <laughs> it disappeared. It disappeared. The picture disappeared. Oh, what? The kids are non refundable. Oh, I thought you were about to see <laughs> it disappeared. It disappeared. What the hell? And then two minutes Only later, for a limited phone time. Rang, somebody handed me the Oh, my gosh. The phone. <laughs> we got and trolled I, <laughs> live. I answered it. Dan Romanek. Daddy, oh. don't worry. I love you. I'm okay. I started just crying and crying and crying because I knew, I knew in my heart that it was Kilma. And then it all come flooding back. That little girl that was hug, hug, humping, humping my, my leg. leg. He's about to say humping my leg. Are you kidding me? What a weirdo. Was um, the girl that was there at the party. Yeah, let me see. Really? Well, that was something. The picture disappeared. Yeah, Stan deleted it. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> Validation. Oh, this is where we learn that it's all true. Very nice. I can't wait. So we're all about to be. Uh, we're about to look like fools now. When I ran across his video of his first UFO sighting. I was really intrigued. Um, plus, I was part of MUFON, and I noticed that MUFON? they had one of their investigators yep. look into MUFON it. MUFON is the so official really, I UFO kind of, investigation. Since it was some uh, of the best video I had seen, for, like, wanted the nation to look more world. into the veracity of mm -hmm. the video. And I found like that, that it was very credible yeah. that the MUFON investigator had found there were several witnesses to some of his first sightings. When you only it's have a, a first-hand experience, only one person, and there's not really much you can do with that. That's not the issue. That was never the issue with Stan. There's just so much information out there. Um, it's it's almost overwhelming. It, it, Stan's story is incredible also because <laughs> it has so much proof. It has so much credibility. I mean, it, he has not only photographs, films, videos, he downloads formulas, he has it all in that story. That story is a gold yeah. mine for uh, uh, Those things are really similar to the of, Rendlesham of Forest symbols, contact. which he probably there just are copied. Of the case that are very solid, that uh, it would be impossible for Stan to hoax. 
a stand is being used to give what? a message also. He literally I mean, has a dummy on a to, stick. To say it's real. <laughs> Just help him see um, the evidence you know, oh. that, I, uh, that he has. That I looked at. These guys can be characters for Jeff Dunham. Around him. Well, he, he, he looks wow. like a, yeah, an old um, Donny Osmond. Or the guy from Reno 911. <laughs> The guy with the short shorts. This is Claude Swanson. Mm. I'm a physicist. Um, undergraduate degree in physics, MIT, sure. class of 69. PhD in 69. physics from Princeton, class of 76. I did uh, engineering yep. consulting with the government through consulting companies for 20, 30 yes, years. Yes, he throws up on What got me funny. into physics was my real true love, which is what's called unified field theory, which is like the theory of everything. It's like the deepest questions of science, how things really work. For me, the enduring thing is Lies. that if you put together this particular set of Lies. equations, you'd have to know a lot about physics. I've been told that the last 20 minutes of this From documentary I is like notoriously boring and all these people are crazy for believing in them. So, <laughs> You know, Paul Hellier was the Minister of National Defense. And he's turned out to be the to be biggest UFO these particular equations uh, fanatic there is. Um, and he would fit right in with most these people these would pick a rods. random set of equations. You know, they pick something that well, not maybe not these ones. That maybe has no meaning to it. Um, <laughs> Sorry, these Lord. equations Sorry. actually relate to propulsion. Okay. Oh yeah, this is help me understand your equation then. I mean, I, I think Don't one tell me there's they, an equation. Give, help me understand your equation. But the, the, that the, was the equation like right there. But are, yeah, they're actual equations. Yeah, it's just he's he's writing them down for some reason, and they're trying to figure out why. I think it's memorized. Indication. It. Of it's a I can go online and find an equation for it. for the, the laws of relativity. Them over the years, yeah, that's the point. You just write it down and pretend like you know about it. Yeah, exactly. But really, you're just memorizing it. That's what he's doing. I think that they seem to actually be the law of relativity doesn't work. How they do some of the things that we we find anomalous. How they so get it's a high process. How to get from some distant star to here. So he's like current a, science, a super genius. Even maybe 20 years star ago. Or is it the theory of relativity? Uh, these things were viewed yeah, as the theory impossible. of relativity. Oh, not relative. What's been happening in the past 15 <laughs> years or so is... <laughs> not relative. Exactly, sheepdog. Exactly. thinkers who seem to be following along a similar path. Nice, who, Farkas. Um, Mr. Farkas. And they're not the Very mainstream cool. scientists, but... There are more and more indications that seem to back up the equations that Stan has been writing. So there's a, a trend here, a, a growth that kind of says, you know, these might really work. No. Uh, one of his <laughs> equations uh, relates to uh, a solution that was found in the 90s by a physicist named Alcubier, um, a Mexican physicist. Yeah, this guy lost me. First, <laughs> you lost me, a Mexican physicist. Gravity <laughs> and make faster than light travel from it. Jeez. You have a solution, a mathematical solution very bad. that gives you a, a warp drive. Okay, that's what they called it. Like um, <laughs> DJ involves, It involves warp some drive. conditions warp drive. Uh, that are not realizable oh, well, in our current physics today. But still, it's a step in that direction. And as you look Roseanne, into it, find, you. And that's one of Stan's equations. And as you look into it, the other people put off and... Uh, and Robert Dickey. I don't know how it works. Show up I'm not a physics work. teacher, guys. Uh, they're also working on the same idea um, how to change space time in ways we didn't know was possible before. Right now, what I'm picking up is that there's a theme. And the theme is that it is possible to oh. get from there. X plus Y equals MC squared. Present conventional <laughs> MC Hammer. view is. We couldn't have ET visitors because it's it too long. Not good at math. Get from there to hear the speed of light or less. But suppose there are ways of warping space and time. Camera, less art. Than light. And that's what some of these equations are, are hinting at. Oh, this stands crazy? I don't know. Maybe. This, this guy light. looks crazy. A middle name is uh, that looks like Tommy middle Chong's cousin or brother. Uh -huh. Blue. Uh, looks like Tommy Chong. Blue. 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 I think we might need the subtitles for this part. And they're in the very main of the house, and we use the solves. The doors with clothes, very private. 
ask a series of questions to, to determine from my opinion what's <laughs> coherence. Definitely his right. Intent. Is he Old Hulk Hogan look any less crazy? Intellectually, does he not need to set up some kind of an assessment or analysis to glorify? These guys are aliens. I look at all those uh, issues. I gave him some documents. Okay, now no, I don't know. At least tests. I, I think answers. you did. <laughs> you freedom, huh? no no, I'm I'm okay. you can, but you can't ask me any questions because I don't know the okay? answer. All right, fine. <laughs> if so the nomismaniac his beard assessment. back and shut up, assessment. <laughs> that shows that it's a very high degree of stress related to something. Get a haircut. Now it could be related to his marriage. It's <laughs> hair. Uh, something oh. he refers to as. Uh, a UFO experience. I gave a personality test. <laughs> for real. Respect, in order to be able to understand a bridge, a uh, test. relative to, to himself in the way he answers questions. I also gave him one for his ability to recall things from oh. conversation. I gave him one for um, interpretation in regards to lying. Interesting. I outlined 27. <laughs> and let me guess, he passed them all. Um, questions. And how he answered them. <laughs> I watched, what he did. <laughs> because that's part of the assessment. How did he take it? Was he eager? If you want to do the job uh, to the H A W K. Uh, focused, uh, did he ever stop and lean back or did he ever hit the table? <laughs> Many things that might show frustrated. He did the, all five tests very calmly. <laughs> he all through. Yeah, the freaking answer. Call almost two hours. He's all through. He said, "I'm through." I'm through. How am I? I said, "You look okay to me." He said, "Me?" I said, "I haven't assessed the test. You know, how can I answer that?" It's okay. They look at him. Tell me. I said, "It'll take longer than that." Because yeah, I have to look. You could have just cut this whole entire part out. Assessment. Is, can you just tell me, am I crazy or not? Can you say <laughs> this that? Doesn't, this doesn't I prove say, anything. Yeah, I can tell you. From my perspective, oh my you're gosh. saying as most people, if not more, you merely have had more, ex not more experiences <laughs> that confuse others more than they confuse you. You're just confusing people. I explained people. to him, norm <laughs> is not something that we can all agree upon. So we have to have a norm which to agree upon. So if you're asking for my norm, are you normal? The answer is yes. Norms and cheers. Any other people? The answer is no. In fact, no. they probably call you weird, a liar, and things. Like that. I said, you do not lie, or you do not to me. What? Your experiences are real. I have a lot of proof for it. Therefore, you're okay. Well, thank you for proving it. Thanks. My name is Leo Sprinkle. I'm oh. Leo Sprinkle, PhD. I'm a counseling psychologist in the state of Wyoming. I teach self-hypnosis to people who wish to learn the techniques, not only to relax the body, but to focus the mind. So from a standpoint of uh, general mental health, you teach these me? techniques are useful. Uh, some people may not like <laughs> we, We're all going about to get hypnotized. Like word hypnosis. Let's use meditation. Wait, not for real, though. Just kidding. Uh, image rehearsal for athletes. Uh, goofing off for teenagers. What? <laughs> uh, the task <laughs> is to assist the person yes. to recognize <laughs> That within this guy's pretty notorious when it comes to more awareness, stuff. more knowledge than uh, <laughs> that's how I feel aware. right now. The cage, the cage is back. Ten being the Cameo. most significant ever. Where to stand? Nine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is important. Yep, just another, just another actor, want, right? Uh, something that they all can, these people are actors. They have to be. There's a photograph here. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's a telephone call from an electronic voice that can't be traced. Here is an electronic a, uh, voice. equation that the physicist... Like, the better uh, thing would have been done, like they should have done, instead of having people talk, like, like go through that, that stuff. That if it can't be traced, prove person, it. it doesn't have to be I don't want this guy to honest, talk about doesn't it. doesn't have to be nice. It doesn't have to be likable. He is nice, and he is honest, and he is likable, not really. but he doesn't have to be because he's got all the <laughs> no. He has been willing not only to share the photographs, the films, the uh, I heard oh. Park. He's been willing to work with other people and write books. Uh, and John. Just that music. So that not only his story, Life finds but a way. the people who are with him, their stories, are being documented. 
I think that's the biggest video. Me, it's part of the <laughs> process. So my view is that a person has several sightings, and then they have a job, they have a task, they have a duty, they have a chore. <laughs> It may be merely to recognize it. I don't blame you. This this guy can about it with put me to sleep. Family. Or it may be, be something beyond. <laughs> uh, and so with Stan, the fact this that he had already the worst. been willing to go through hypnosis. Dude, the, the beginning of this documentary started off so, like, hot. This thing was like, no, it's just have. this guy. Um, and I, I, had, I had a chemistry teacher in college. Uh, all this of those to me. things said to me, and that, I don't remember uh, a single thing he ever he said. Is, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this thing they talk around in circles. This I'm thing turned into a poop fire. Circles to make you think you uh, learn something. Do you think of yourself? As I'd rather stick guy. my hand <laughs> in dino shit than listen to this guy. But <laughs> as you talk to his wife, and as you virus, the virus. You begin to realize <laughs> he may not think of himself <laughs> as a messenger. <laughs> In the sense Give me back the bunny. Has a <laughs> but it's just like when I was a 10 year old kid, five o'clock in the morning. Or give the bunny I'm back. My little bicycle and I'm delivering newspapers. I don't know the reporter. I don't know the editor. I don't know the publisher. I like the piano music. I'm just oh, delivering the news. Here we go. He's delivering the news. The message. All right. Jeff, now we're going to find out. It's not uh, correct. A vehicle for some group or some race to give a positive message to the planet but you know he's human so we get all the human stuff and then we get all the starseed stuff together Ugh. and uh he star has, seed? He has a yeah, he star calls seed. himself starseed and i think his name is starseed is fascinating and i have recommended that that this is star the on contact yeah. case because star you Lord. Look at. did you say starseed yeah, yeah. starseed uh -huh. Don't so it's pretty much space firm is his name. Um such important or significance. Oh god, it's like alien face. Does that mean he gave his seed to the stars of the people? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like these people gave him the seed. These people are full of the seed. Easier to go along with the <laughs> there we go. There's plenty of things I want to do or have to do. I'm busy, busy, busy. It's amazing how many people witness. This is pretty amazing. I won't lie. And rationalize oh, you know. and go about it. Why does that guy have a pillow on his belly? Room and say, look, his fat guys cover their fat gut. I, I know that I there's do it. a <laughs> more number of people who are taking interest in a larger definition of who I don't know. beings. Um, there are thousands, tens of thousands of people who've had near-death experiences. You know, have been dead clinically on the table, the operating table, the but heart operations, things like that. They've experienced the other side, as they would say. Look on stage. There's a uniformity. The back wall of the books in that art. There is another side. There, that you we got are, Chinese um, bonsai uh, tree. Powerful spirits. You got the two rosy the rocks. Bodies, trying to have a, a little bit of books. There are these higher dimensions, okay, and we're all kind of learning and growing in these experiences. And a lot of what they say seems very consistent <laughs> with the lessons that are coming out of these ET contact cases. Wow, an old phone back here, too. Beings, this is um, so he's basically saying just because other people have had similar experiences understand. makes his true. Bottom because line, it's uniform, even Stan, I think, maybe? understands this <laughs> that, that the group. <laughs> And there's several groups so, visiting the planet. 400 people there's get together and say, look, <laughs> we're all just going to say X, Y, and Z. Some kind of evolution of, of humanity. So all of a sudden it becomes real because everybody said X, Y, and Z. This is big time. Because in my opinion. All right. We got Our nine minutes to go. Recognizing that this is a crucial time for humanity. <laughs> you know, this is this is really so akin to the wheel of agony, right? Bring ourselves at the human. Oh, level. you know about the wheel of agony? Heck yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, God. Kathy, are you in Oh, by the way, Tupac, you got to come through and and, and, and yeah, check out the Wheel oh. of Agony on the 18th because you got a, a Kruger and entry. Oh, I would. In a heartbeat. Yeah, so do yeah, I. Because I've learned exponentially. And I get to look outside the box. Check out Storm and Norman. The responsibility is to simply share. Storm and see it. What he's experienced. And if it helps people who are in the same situation, he's so good. That's very important to us. It's all about 
getting the message out. So basically, this documentary is about how he's like the coolest guy in the world. Whether we are viewer. Whether and how his wife's going to let him keep on sleeping with all the star chicks he wants. Well, he, currently, each of us has our story. Maybe not. So do they show that at the end? Is a, a live feed from his prison cell? Why am I afraid? No, do they say know. what happened yeah, with the I kids? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pr- they better. If they don't, I'll be pissed. Because this was on Netflix, and they had, to, they had to put a, a thing at the end of it for the people you know, who did watch it. Disconnected. Frightened to so I'm assuming it's on this one. I have. That's what this is about. That's what my message is about. There's more stuff out there, and we. It's it's time for the human race. To yeah, this is he's blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's kind. It kind of so is actually, which is the, the weird thing. This is his defense. This video. It's really easy, but it's very daunting. All we have to do. The human race is understand that we're not alone, and it changes. Everything. Oh my gosh! What a message! Trying to get thousands of years of you know uh, society um, ripped out of you is going to be tough because we've been taught <laughs> certain things through religion and through all this other, all these other control mechanisms. <sighs> That we're supposed right. to think a certain way, and Stan, it's not benefiting. Just get to the point, all. Stan. Come on. And so, you know, the message is the message is we're aliens and we're out here. We know it's time to grow up and take responsibility for who we are. We're being asked to grow up and to be more mindful with the future. What ourselves? The frick is that? And, um, I mean, to me, that that's what this whole process is about. It's about growing up and. That was loud. Taking on a more mature and a much larger view of who we are and how we fit into things. You know, you know oh, he said at the same time, you know, that's crazy. You know, I was going to say, you know, this guy needs a roundhouse kick. Try to wing it as best as I can. And, but. Radio signal from the king. Aliens. Radio signal, yeah. I felt honored to be a part of it. He is the radio signal. I still feel honored to be a part of it. And I pray every day that I can somehow make a difference. You have. In what happens. Because you gave us this beautiful, this beautiful documentary. This glorious race, because it's important. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. This is the end. Okay. Yay. He was asked to be an Avenger. Oh, yikes. So, oh. He was arrested uh, for child pornography charges <laughs> and Venom <laughs> denies these charges nice. and claims to be a victim of a setup before you judge too quickly. Yeah. But, but, wait, hold on. Before you judge too quickly. Oh, child <laughs> porn uh, by a PC of course, he was framed. Oh my god! Man has never wanted to frame them for a child. So Bubba Bogey figured it out. Bubba Bogey figured it out. This is his, this is pretty much his rebuttal. <laughs> He's like, I didn't do it. Trust me, I am a saint from an alien civilization, and I'm the source of information from us to them, and I didn't do it. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry to tell you guys, Stan Romanek is not awesome. Fuck that puto. What did you make me watch? <laughs> Honestly, what did you make me watch? So this is just a little like, so social I experiment. Make sure I never go to that title. This is a nice social experiment to see if, um, uh, yeah, if you believe in these types of people at face value, uh, this is what you could be believing in. What a piece now, what of shit! What is the name of this? Is what is the name of this? Stan Romanek, uh, an extraordinary story. Oh, Stan. Stan will have okay. his day in court. <laughs> Yep, and uh, he did have okay update on this. He did have his day in court about a few years ago, and he is now currently serving prison until twenty twenty six, I think. So, so he was not found innocent. There was no virus, and uh, yeah, he's mm. weirdo. Weirdo. Okay, next movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome guys, that was fun. Thank you. Oh, uh, I. For bearing through that with us. Big Numis Maniac fell asleep. Oh, uh, <laughs> I've gone numb. So that was that. <laughs> <laughs>
but oh my gosh, oh, you guys. I'm heading you. back to the park. <laughs> that was definitely different. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was awesome, guys. Sweet. And there's still 34. We had, oh my God, there was like 30 people watching consistently the whole entire time. So that's awesome. Thank you, everybody. Glad you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hang out for another <laughs> 10, 15 minutes or so and uh, talk about what the hell we just watched. And then we so, could go over and uh, raid Robert Worley on uh, yep. For the Love of Jerky. Yes. So just sense. in case, just in case Good I want to night, TWM53, thank you for hanging out with Good us. Night. Everyone uh, thank you. going to bed, thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Just in case we use this last few minutes, I'm going to clip it really quick. So, uh... Content. Hello, everybody. Welcome to West Coast Collectibles. And we just watched this weird <laughs> documentary about Stan Romanek, and we're just going to talk about it for a few minutes of what the heck we just watched. And uh, hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, how did that make you feel? I, I, th I think we could have faked some of that alien stuff better than he did. <laughs> I'm in another. I'm down to help. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> the first I'm totally, dude. The first I'm totally. I got. I got it. Here's the thing. I only watched what about a half hour of it. That the, was you missed, too much to watch. You missed the best. The first thirty minutes of that documentary were amazing. Oh my gosh! It was just evidence. <laughs> it was just evidence. It was, it was just, just a bunch evidence. of weird. Yeah, just a bunch of weird stuff. UFO pictures, videos, orbs, aliens, and kitchens. What the heck's going to dress for? <laughs> I'm trying not to have a copyrighted part right now. Part right now. I can't do this now. Who we'll play that? Who goes that idea? Uh, all right. That was, the, to be the, was supposed to be the monetized right? part of the video. I, I have to go back to the park, guys. I, I right. don't, I've gone numb. You've, I can handle dinosaurs, but not aliens. <laughs> well, next cool. one could be on Bigfoot. That, that's uh, true. Yeah. Uh, can, I'll ask her if she'll come down and join us. <laughs> we can do. Yeah, we can. Definitely. I need to smoke after this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, what? You, what? Because it was it was so so erotic for you. What is that? Alien no. sex? No, you it sick. stressed me the fuck out. You sick bugger. <laughs> <laughs> that is a pretty stressful documentary. Once you get it like an hour and thirty minutes into it, you're like, oh my gosh, this asshole still talking about how he's so awesome. Yeah. And he really I, just I, said he beat those guys down the bike honestly, chain. I can't something. I can't stand something that gives you the information about what's going on the first like 10, 15 know, minutes, and then the so, rest. The so rest weird. is just about that, like yeah, trying to present it to me in a different way. And I'm like, the, any which other way you present it to me, you're, you're faking your shit. <laughs> it was pretty bizarre. Pretty, pretty. My favorite part is when he talks about the ninja dudes hopping out of the car to fight him. That was the best. <laughs> The best. <laughs> DJ Numis Maddox. Chupacabra. Worst <laughs> tight story ever. And he got out and he was like this. So I just grabbed my bike chain and started wailing on him. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part. And I knew, I grew up in Compton, so I knew karate. Yes. Yeah. He's like, I grew up in Compton, so I got in a lot of fights. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow. Yes, please. Ba -ba. Please. Some, if you have any alien evidence, but yeah, no. If you guys enjoyed that, feel free to. If you have a like a topic you'd like to talk about or something, maybe we'll do like a weekly poll or something. We'll put out like five topics, and then you guys can poll on it or something, or you can give us suggestions. Or if you want to have your own like personal kind of like little uh, like, because we'll have like certain people on the panel that won't, like know a lot about it or something. If we talk about like certain like cases or stuff, and then uh, yeah, we can invite you on the panel and you can run us through it where you can take over and be the host it'll be pretty cool can it be yeah, a, I don't know about many what ideas was the Bigfoot movie back in the 70s um uh yeah. Bog, boggy creek yes i remember watching that at oh. the movie theater the legend of boggy creek yeah legend of boggy creek number two is a lot oh, was it? Oh my gosh it's so good because they just go way off the rails and it's just like they talk about there's like a 10 minute song about some guy fishing in a in a boat and they actually sing it. It's like, uh, oh my gosh, what is it? I can't remember, but it's amazing. Wow, <laughs> my, my brain is fried from that. Oh my yeah. gosh! You two constitutional said, let's talk about lumber. Yeah. <laughs> what? Woo! Dan Wade? I don't know about all that. I didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't, don't quote. Don't do that. Mm. 
intercourse. <laughs> I didn't say all that. There's a lot in of intercourse in that documentary. Probe. Yes. Probe. Yes, intercourse. Oh my gosh. It's not what you think it is. It's out of course. Out of course. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. I'm just texting really quick. So, oh, okay, there we go. All right. <coughs> nice. Thank oh you gosh. for letting me come up and watch this oh. with you. Oh, of course. Of course. Thank of course, you once guys. again for your um, donation. Thank you for, yeah, and thank you for wanting to come yeah. up and hang out with us and talk to us on this thing. Definitely. Love it. Okay. And you, hey, have... you just fit I, I I think you fit in my little world. Okay. Good. I'm glad and to hear I it. just want you to be happy in my little world. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to create my little here. world is sunny. Nice. Okay. See, we're trying to create then that. Then the moon comes little out. World too. Yeah. Little then the world. then the moon comes out. And let me tell you, that KK, <sighs> she's dangerous. <laughs> Watch out. She'll cut you. She'll come she to your house in the middle of the night and abduct you. She bad. She so bad. You wish she could not cut you up so bad. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. didn't like my blue hair, guys? I, no, love yeah, it. Nice. I was going to say something. Very nice. Nice aquamaria color going on there. <laughs> I did it myself. Nice. Nice. That looks good. It matches your uh, your wall or your quarter of your wall, yeah. right where you're at. So it's like perfect. So it's like you're like Zordon kind of. You got like that blue energy going in like a, yeah. in a cylinder type manner. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying so hard. Uh, trying. I know I love you, William. <laughs> I love you, William. I'm just trying, oh. trying. Trying, trying to get better. If you look, put the uh, three, some behind you. Look, put threes. So what? There's an alien behind me. No, me. So, oh, Kathy, God. look, put three. There's. No, we know that Snoop Dogg. There's someone behind you. Oh, you think there's someone behind me? Okay, that's that's my play toy. <laughs> Oh, I think I have a, something a little extra, actually, really quick before we get out of here. There's a video of there's a video of Stan Romanek being interviewed by somebody, and while he's being interviewed about it, he's talking about how there's all kinds of paranormal evidence at his house and stuff, and he's, like, telling a story, and all of a sudden, you can see, like, his hands in the bottom of his screen fiddling with something, but he doesn't know you can see his hands, and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. he flicks a pen up in the air, and he goes, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? That thing just flew through the air in the background? But you can actually see him flick the pen up in the air and fake it. It's it's amazing. So he gets caught faking it like on live stream. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, David Baca, I'm, I'm, I'm right more there. I'm more worried about the people down here trying to like try to break into my house than 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 anybody from outer space trying to come through. And like, oh yeah, no. <laughs> okay, I got a request. I got to change my background. What should I make it this time? Give me some idea of stuff I should put back here. Something in the background? Yeah. Maybe well, like a greater a, poster. Like a Budweiser yep. type sign that says Kathy's Corner and it's like lights up and it flickers. No. Shh. Shh. Kind of like cool. A lava lamp. Ooh, that's good. I already have one. <laughs> uh. One of those light things from Spencer's. It has like all like the, the oh, oh like, the uh, light. Yes, um, that thing's so cool. I can't remember what you would call it, but it's like got like the weird um hair, not hair strand yeah, things. Yeah, got the, the light on and the they, end of the. Um, yes. Those things are cool. One of those uh, fiber optics. Oh, bikes. Yeah, I couldn't get that out neither. I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. One that I got enough stuff colors. around. Maybe I'll hang records back there. What do you think? Yeah, you could. Swords. See, Swords. No, I cool sold too. them. Oh yeah. Skeletons. Skeletons. I'm sure you got like big knives. America. Guns. American flag. So you can be like 
Oh, a street pole with the <laughs> I'm saying Kathy's corner. Okay. That, I thought cool. you wanted yeah. me to put that's a what, pole pole. That's what I said. Yeah, a neon had... sign that shorts out. It's a Oh come on. So my idea wasn't good, but his exact idea of my no, idea no, was no. greater. First I read the pole and I'm <laughs> thinking a stripper he was pole swinging on a pole, you know, a dance <laughs> pole dance. Me and Bubba Bogey have great ideas. Sorry. <laughs> A street oh. pole with a street sign. There we go. That's the one you saw, I think. Yeah, and then right. and then yeah. you blend it but with a neon one. All I saw was a pole, and yeah, I'm thinking I, strip They pole. got combined. <laughs> a fiber the Native, to, to, Native to Indian stuff. I do have a lot, and I did do an Indian one one time. Awesome. Oh, Ooh. let's see. Crack of that shoulder. Hey, William. Yeah. Uh, YouTube is streaming Beavis and Butthead for free. So maybe we can do we can do we can do a uh, uh, viewing head day one day. Yes. Snoop's gonna Desk get you. This is on fire. Shit. Now you're going to have to oh, always sorry. send me a link in that when you are doing this because oh, yeah. I have got to be part Saturday. of this group. Yeah, we love we <laughs> we love to do this every Saturday. We'd love to have you every Saturday if you'd like to. Definitely. It's definitely open to anybody who'd like to join us. Preferably if you're a weird uh, type like us. Weird. I'm not weird. No <laughs> way. Okay, weird. We're getting I'm weird. There's just no I way I am anybody. weird. Just don't put it out there. Interesting. I'm already a, I'm already a cockroach, a crazy cockroach to be exact. But hey. Yeah, there's going to be an OnlyFans coming up next month. Woohoo! Yeah. Yep. We're going all out. Banana hammocks and all. Huh? Wait, what? William and what did you say? Oh, I up open up William. Kathy's package for a giveaway. <laughs> Just stay up and dig up, Roseanne. Yes, yeah, Roseanne. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yes, I'm thinking Roseanne, once again, we did. Kathy. Yes, we did. And Roseanne, I did get your package yesterday. I know I already messaged you about it. We're waiting on his until Monday, which I cannot wait to open it. Yep. This is a donation from Kathy's Corners for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Well, I thought you I'm needed a 70. I'm not wish to tell the That's beautiful. PCGS MS70. Oh, let me blow that All up. Right. Really there we go. I'm sorry. My phone keeps on going. Vroom, 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 vroom. It's like a little motorcycle. Wow, that, that thing is. is Beautiful. And then turn it around really quick. All right, Kenneth Goodson. Thank you. Have a great nice. night. Nice. Elizabeth. Oh, what else? Did you just send me an that email with your address and that? Because uh, Mc, uh, Hammer wanted me to give you the purse. So yes. send me your uh, name, address, and everything. Oh, that is awesome. That was really nice, McHammer. Definitely. That is cool. Thank you so much, Kathy. Yeah, no Kathy, problem. Very awesome. This is going to be coming to you. Oh, my God. I got... Oh, the meteor. Murder. Mm -hmm. Meteor, right? Then yeah. I'll have to send you something back. I got, I got, I got one. Oh, um, that's right. I'm supposed to be sending you some shirts. As soon as I get some new T-shirts, I will... Yeah. Design special shirts for you guys. You got to put your face on. Like, no, like no, no, no. I do. I do. Um, a star seed. Uh, um, um, I can't think of the word art. I do. Um, Ooh, an itch. Eclectic. No. Um, and um, I'll show you a piece of it. I'm better at showing than I am of uh, talking. <laughs> That's why my husband loved me because I didn't better talk. Better show her than tell her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Wait, what? You're a show her, not a teller? Oh, well, I wasn't thinking it like that. <laughs> Jeez, Jose. Come on. You're horrible, man. Did he freeze? Uh, no. What is he this just, called? He just gets in the moment sometimes. Okay, here's one of mine. Are you frozen? Nope, no, he's not frozen. These are okay. flowers if Deeper. you see the flowers. Roseanne, I do want to open your package. Hey, William, uh, have a, can you blow that up? Yes. Okay, wait a minute. 
here's the one I start and add, put something. Hey, why do you get like squids in your lava lamp? Because that's uh, what they are. They're star They're seeds. Um, jellyfish. You got jellyfish? Are they that's real? Je no. The okay, plastic. I was going to say, I put my hand in there. Abstract. Ah! Thank you. I can never remember what I do. I just do abstract. And you have to look and see. A lot of times I'll have uh, words inside. Run ahead, all dirty words. Dirty words? Yeah. That went over Someone my head. Someone picked that one up right away. They said, I have to have that. Free the jellyfish. That's all I can think Wait, about is hell. Oh, my <laughs> the jellyfish hey, dinner. Everyone, everyone seems so. Uh, hey, William, focused. can you mod me? Uh, yeah. Uh, Tupac is not a mod. It is all. Hey, thank you for participating uh, in the chat, Tupac Coral Hunter. It's nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you on here, though. You haven't participated in the chat. That's why I can't mod you. Oh, it got rid of it because I put up a, a link. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that can cost where's me a Mia good when, thing. Where's Mia when you need her? <laughs> there you go. You'll have to watch when I go and do, uh, me and Miss Southern Bell's going to do a, a pour. I'm going to teach her how to do a pour. That's oh, a pour. Nice. And uh, Shady McGravy likes the picture directly behind you. That is a pretty cool picture. Wait. Yeah. Um, I feature artists on my channel, guys. And this is Susan Chronicle. Oh. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. That is That's pretty cool. Looks like a t fire tornado. Uh, she, no, awful. she says it's a lightning bolt. Oh, okay. Well, similar. But, but I, I think your uh, a tornado takeover. is a lot better. Apparently, I have been put on time out by the owners of this uh, channel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't do I, I did nothing. <laughs> What I put user in time. That's it says I can put you in timeout. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm so confused. I can't timeout you, but I'm supposed to be able to. Wait, what? He's in timeout. I'm in timeout. I can't. For 500 I can't seconds. In chat. Did you did you say something really bad? <laughs> uh, no, I said hi. <laughs> I have no idea. I I. He wait, tried what? to drop a link first. And then uh, the you know I don't even see that people one. got hold. Yeah, see when I put it, it says you have been placed in timeout by this channel. Don't well, don't like get out of here before he starts yelling at me more. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to drop uh, Robert Worley's link so we could go I, raid him. I know. I'm just sorry. So I'm gonna do like. Somebody else can drop Robert Worley's link for me. Yes, let me see. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure I'll figure out all the kinks. I'm sorry. Like I said, I put the I literally put this thing together. Like I don't have his link, so I don't know. It's really hard to figure it out, but I got it. I will figure it out, and I will get it to work completely. But oh my <laughs> gosh, everybody! Once again, thank you for hanging out with us and uh, watching that with us. It was excellent. We're going to be doing this every Saturday, and of course, that's not going to interfere with our Sundays Wait, and Wednesdays. Same documentary. Yeah, we're no. the same one. The same one. Different. Every Saturday until we uh, until we believe it. <laughs> until until we believe it. Until we believe it. And until we can prove he is correct and yeah. he is in he's not insane. Yeah, and he didn't no, do any of that he weird. Crap, stuff. He you have to call some real scientists now. I Stand want I, I want a picture of that board with all the equations so I can figure it out. Just <laughs> that's all I want to know. Uh, that's all I want because I want to sit there, my mathematical brain, and figure that one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the same time next week, then. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait, we gotta get. Um, <laughs> we gotta get for the love of jerky's Lincoln, so we can do a raid. For the love of jerky, gotta get that jerky, man. For the love of money, what? 
Jerky. Yeah, it's for the love of money. Yep. <laughs> for the love of money. And boom. Who's from Ohio here? Oh, Ohio. Shout out to Cleveland, Ohio, and Bone Thugs in Harmony. Jeff we Crump got them on the chat. <laughs> Jeff Crumplers. <laughs> I got to get to the dispensary before the next one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Jeff Crumpler. You better make sure. All right. Thank you. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Bubba, oh, Bubba yeah. Bogey dropped it. Thank yep. you, Bubba yes. Bogey. Yes, I, uh, I'm on there right now. Awesome. They're playing with the belly. All right. One guy was. <laughs> All right. So we'll tell everybody uh, Tupac Raid as we get in there. And yes. thank you, everybody, for joining us. A, you guys are awesome. It was certainly a blast. And, of course, we'll be back here uh, tomorrow once again. Not here, but on the Tupac Coin Roll, Coin Roll Hunter channel at uh, 345 Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, uh, six forty-five uh, Eastern Standard Time. And thank you, uh, Kathy and Jose, and everyone else who was up on our panel and uh, hanging out with us and providing commentary where it was needed. And uh, yeah, it was a blast. Uh, thank you, young everybody. people. I appreciate have all you. The fun. Yeah. I gotta stay with you. you guys. I'm young. Okay, just want to let then, you know, I'm your mama, but I'm the young mama. All right. <laughs> and also, everyone, make sure you. Also, head over to Kathy Cor Kathy's Corner and check out all her cool stuff because she's always doing hey, cool stuff. William. Well, you didn't yep. let me show Look. anything tonight that I got. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, Heck yeah. Touch. Can I do it? Huh? Great job, mods. You guys are cool. I but can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. I'm Thank you once now. again, everybody. And Roseanne, Hi, Kathy, you're just a little late getting over here. <laughs> oh, they told me I'm a little late getting here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. It was still a blast. You still got to see at least 45 minutes of that craziness. So that's it's all good. It's definitely all good. Better late than never. All right, yeah. you guys. We will see you. And really thank soon. you. Special shout out yeah. to Roseanne. Thank you for all your hard work tonight, even though you're watching UFC. Yeah. Appreciate it. A lot. Thank you so much, Roseanne. Yes, Roseanne. And, uh, <laughs> Roseanne, don't forget to write me. Email me, Roseanne. Search for aliens whenever, wherever you can. Yeah. <laughs> I go up to, to the weird. hospital there. They have these padded not. rooms. There are aliens in there all the time. All. Bouncing off the walls. All the time. <laughs> Yep. It, uh, yeah. If it's not collectibles, it's collect tables. All right, everybody. Well, yeah. You have a great. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. And scene.